Oh, man. Hi. I was in a meeting. I had to do some stuff, but I'm here. I'm alive. I am live. Finally. Um, but how are you? Welcome in. I don't know why I have that tab open. Um, but how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm cold. I'm cold. Turn that down in the ear. Um, but I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine and cold, but good. I had a meeting today and I got some work done and I sat on the couch and watched Degrassi and I was very lazy today, but it's fine. It's fine. I got, I, I was, I was productive. I did some writing. I did some drawing. So, yeah, it's good. Hey, Samarella, welcome in. How are you? And Bahunts, hello, hello. I'm doing good. How are you? I've been busy all day. That's why I'm like 10 minutes late to stream because I had a meeting. So, yeah, I've just been chilling mostly. Uh. Okay. Hey, Cookie. Welcome in. How are you? I'm. I have a blanket on because I'm cold on my on my imaginary legs. Um, because streamers don't have legs. And let me tell you, it's 46 degrees outside, and I hate it. <laughs> um, and Melissa, welcome in. Welcome in. And I'm glad you like the hat. Like I said, it's cold, and I'm just like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, but I'm so glad you're back though in the chat. Your old job wants you back. Oh, really? You don't want to go? It's like, we want you back. And I'm like, who are you again? And I've never heard of you. I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, and, uh, Anna Banana, welcome back. Long time no see. How have you been? How have you been? Oh, oh, I agree with Behunt. I would ask for a raise. I'm like, if you want me back so bad, give me a raise. <laughs> you know, that's what I would do. I'm like, mm, you got to cough up the money I'm a little bit higher than that. OK, um, no, I'm like, I'm dead serious, though. Um, and Baby Duck and uh, Simo Holic, welcome in and Hidden Cherries. Long time no see. It's been so long. How are you? How are you today? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see some familiar faces or names. Yes. Names in the chat. <laughs> Annie Bug, welcome in. Hi. You built a restaurant in The Sims for the first time in a long time, I have to say. It was freaking amazing. Ooh. What's like, what kind of restaurant did you make? Was it like just kind of all the above or just like a general like theme? Cause I want to make like a vegan restaurant, a vegetarian restaurant, just a meat based restaurant. I want to do like different types of restaurants because I don't build them that often in the game. Cause I never go. <laughs> um, you're doing pretty good. Feeling a bit faint. Just got a blood test. Ooh, drink a lot of water. Don't look at the screen too much because let me tell you, I've done that before and it was not pretty, but definitely rest if you need to though. Elizabeth, hello, hello, and Misfit, hi, how are you? Uh, wishing everyone a super day, evening, morning, etc. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's been a good, a pretty good day today, actually, for me. I've been working on a bunch of new things. I had a meeting earlier. Well, I had a meeting for like an hour. That kind of went a little bit over, but it's fine. Um, but so far, so good. Oh, industrial bar and grill based off of a photo you saw on, on Pinterest. I feel like I know what you're talking about because I feel like I've seen something like that before. Like an exact like patio industrial style like grill and bar on Pinterest. That's something I also, that, 
that I I almost never build in the community lots. Yeah, I get very nervous with when uh, when it comes to community lots because I never know what to put in them besides like the basic requirements, and that's literally it. You've been studying so much for the past months, I couldn't join the streams. It's totally okay. I always re-upload my streams, so in case you ever want to like watch them back, I always do that. Um, but hopefully, the studying has been pretty good, though. You've been learning, yearning for some learning. Hopefully. Yeah, I think I should do more community lots. Eventually I will. Who knows when that will be though? We'll have to say. Um, my dream is to open up a vegan Turkish restaurant, IRL. Ooh, that sounds fancy. You've been a chef for two years. Ooh, I love that. We're all invited. The spring squad's invited. I like that. Thank you for the invite. I'm looking forward to it. Warlord and fellow little Simsy, how are you? Welcome in. I hope your day's going pretty well. And Savvy, hello. Welcome in. I think I'm gonna do that, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you something, or actually, I posted a tweet literally, what did I say, tw tw 10 minutes ago, I would say, and um, I think it's very hilarious, personally. Um. So I was wearing a, bl a blonde wig. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, where's my monitor? Here it is. Um, I made this tweet earlier today because I thought it was very funny. Um, I made this in Photoshop. I use the Comic Sans text because personally, I believe Comic Sans text really makes a statement. And personally, at the end of the day, it's what needed to be said. I'm so glad you're doing fine. That's good. Hopefully you're not chilly like I am. It's really cold today. It's really cold. But I feel good though overall. We're going to be playing the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge today. So we're on Gen 2 still. And we are currently going to be on... Where in the world is my thing? Am I on the wrong tab? Oh. Wait a minute. Oh no. I think, I think I deleted my thing. Oh no, it's right here. It's right here above. Anyway, anyway, I found it. I couldn't find what I was looking for, but I found what a, my little counter. Um, I wasn't totally already on Twitch waiting to sh for the stream to start. You know, hey, it's fine. It's fine. We're here. We're alive. We're doing things. I honestly kind of, I really love streaming. Like streaming is like one of my ultimate favorite things to do every single day. And the fact that I get to do this every single day makes me happy. So yeah, I'm live every single day, always on time, never late. And it feels great. <laughs> she panic over. I couldn't find my counter because we, we need that counter. So I can see on top of on how many kids I'm having and you know, who we have left. Because in the last part, we had a uh, letter T in the family. Actually, Uptown. Oh, no, we had letter U. S-T-U. Yeah, so we had the letter U. Yeah, uh, last stream, which was last week. Uptown, like Uptown Funk. Because this child is always funky. Anyway. <laughs> you, made the you made the future boyfriend for your sim son august oh how's that going by the way how's the relationship going hopefully it's going great i've been meaning to get back into like making sims and having relationships with them so they can like kind of do cool things for my legacy you know <laughs> lies no also why were my kids all in the bathroom what's so interesting about the bathroom what what are you talking about? They're what? Did, I don't know what they're talking about, but they must be talking about something. <laughs> something interesting about the bathroom. Okay, but you can all use the bathroom if you want to. Maycat, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty good. It's chilly over here in these streets of Illinois. You're melting a few days ago. Uh, it was the most hot day. 
that I've ever experienced. Oh my goodness. I seriously don't understand mother nature or just nature in general, where it's like, you wanna be hot, you also wanna be cold, but make up your mind on which one you want to be consistent with, you know? It's like, why, oh why? It makes no sense. I haven't experienced the coldest, coldest day yet in my area. Like the coldest has been, it's, I would say like, 11 degrees, I would say. No relationship yet. I made him and I saved him to the library because uh, he's still a child. Oh, wow. Well, you know, you got time. But you know, we love a prepared simmer. We agree. Yes, we love a prepared simmer. A simmer who is prepared for a relationship or something for the future of their sim. And it's just like, wow, can we be like them? Can I be like Tyler? <laughs> Uh, my sim, uh, did this, uh, too. In the bathroom? Oh my gosh. And the, while they eat in the bathroom? Wait, eat and talk in the bathroom, but, like, why? It's like the bathroom it must be an interesting place, I guess. <laughs> um, and also, Black Rose, thank you for the three months of resub. I really appreciate it so, so much. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat? Please and thank you. For that brand new resub. But thank you, thank you. I, I, I suppose global warming. I don't like it. I wish it would just go away. You know? Be consistent. Have, have some stability. Ma'am, where did you put this turkey? Did you leave it in the... F she left it to ham in the... In the stove. Empty the oven. Anyway... Your day's been well. You've been playing with some dogs at the park. Ooh, that's exciting. I've been trying to stay productive with my uh my days of life. Trying to like draw more and kind of get back into illustration again and plan out like my YouTube schedule of what I want to like post each and every day. But trying to take more breaks mentally and physically so I can like rest, you know? This year, I want to cry less and, you know, focus more on, on myself and, like, my well-being. Can you man uh, can you guys manifest the warm weather for the UK? Please, it's, our, it's always cold. We're manifesting. We are manifesting warm weather, blazing hot weather. <laughs> blazing hot weather at a controlled temperature for you. Don't worry. I'm manifesting... May, June, July, warm weather. I want the cold. NYC is very warm. What? New York is warm? In the winter? Interesting. I have never seen, I've never heard about that before. I always assume that uh, New York is always cold. Negative seven. Oh my gosh. You gotta, gotta go take a shower. All good, all good. You will be here. Don't worry. You've got the kids in the bed. We are just chilling like a villain. Vibing. I was on a TikTok, not TikTok, but I was on a YouTube short, like, scrolling habit of <laughs> looking at so many YouTube shorts. I hate it because I shouldn't be doing that. It's like TikTok, but worse. Because it's on YouTube and it makes me sad. Having to watch all those things in a row. I sat on my couch. 10,000 simoleons. I'm sorry, what? A figure painting for 10,000 simoleons? I love that. I sometimes want a, want a dog, but I also don't want a responsibility. I want a dog so bad, I'm not even kidding. I want one now. Great goal to have. Yes. A great goal to have is definitely crying less. Because I've cried enough last year. Mostly me mental, like mental cries, like in my brain of overthinking things and like having a lot of anxiety and panic attacks of just everyday life. So I'm just like, I just can't do it anymore. I give up. So I just like, I'm just gonna just take a chill pill. Leave. And just, like, take time for myself. Because, honestly, it's, like, when you're not, like, mentally okay and, like, not feeling the best, it's important to, like, take that time away and, like, 
realize that we need to breathe <laughs> away from screens. At least for me, I do. And, uh, wait, wait. LeCue? LeCue? Is that how to say your name? LeCue? Rue? Hi, how are you? Welcome in. 42 in Virginia. Seems about right, honestly. I used to live in Virginia all my life for like the past nine and a half years. And then I moved to Illinois. So I moved from one cold state to another cold state. Why? You want a Mancoon cat? No, Maine Coon, not Mancoon. Maine Coon cat. Those are really interesting looking cats. You started at Gen 1 today. How are you liking it so far? Hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you are liking it. I'm still trying to figure out the best possible way to end this like challenge at 10 generations, but I'm stuck on generation 10 of like what I want to do. And I feel like I should just make my own challenge for gen 10. So it makes sense with the storyline, but we'll see how that works. You've been trying to restrict my Reddit usage. I think that's a good habit to do that. I have used to go on Reddit all the time, but then I stopped. Cause it was toxic. I have a cat, but I also want a big dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Good vibes to you and your mental self. Thank you. I appreciate it. My cat would be like, uh-uh, get this out. Get this dog out of here. Uh-uh. It's like, if he, if that dog's staying, I'm leaving. Uh, also, before I go, you have no idea how cold it is, it is until you come here to Canada, negative 15 degrees Celsius. Oh my lordy Lou. Oh, did you, speaking of Canada, by the way, did you hear that HBO Max is doing a reboot of Degrassi? Like the showrunners of the original Degrassi, like Degrassi Junior High, High, Next Generation, like all the Degrassi franchises, basically. They're coming back. They are coming back on HBO Max in the year 2023. And I couldn't be more excited because I, seriously love Degrassi. I started rewatching it today on their YouTube channel because that's where they re-upload all of their episodes with no ads and it's just wonderful. I seriously love Degrassi. Uh, I'm building a modern house tonight. We know, need lots of vibes. You've got this Black Rose. You've got this. You know, I was watching Kayla earlier this afternoon and she was building a modern house for her YouTube channel for her legacy family. And let me tell you, modern houses are not my strongest suit, but people make it look so easy. I'm like, how do you do what you do? Tell me, I need to know the secrets. I say, you know, it's always fun to build like a tiny, like modern home. Cause you can do tiny homes and get the benefits out of it. So a German shepherd, ooh. What if you just uh, do a challenge, but inverted? <gasps> oh, okay. I had an idea. That's a good idea. Cause I was thinking gen one is rags to riches. What if we just do riches to rags? Riches to rags. I like that idea. You're gardening to make money. Very good. But yeah, they're coming back with Degrassi on HBO Max. The new gen, like, not the next class, the one on Netflix. I don't really care about that one. But, like, the one that had, like, 14 seasons. I love that one. I didn't really watch Degrassi High or Junior High because I just didn't really know about it. But it seemed really cool at the time. But eh, it was something. I was more grown up on the next generation, but not next class. It was a interesting, like, buffer between the two. Give a bubble bath to... Tiana, not Tia Tamara. Uh, Kale, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, bestie. How have you been? We are playing the Mix Match Legacy Challenge, by the way. We're on Gen 2 at the moment, and we're just at a standstill at this point because we have all these kids, and I'm trying to get all their skills and their um, grades up at the appropriate level so I can age them up and kick them out. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Thank you for asking. That's true. I'm going to make it popular. I'm like, I'm taking the, like, the title of the name, but making it my own spinoff of it. 
is a thing. Because like these challenges are very, very old, but they've never been updated. So I think that it's in my duty of storytelling to make it new again, but in my own natural way. But I'm doing really good though. Which Degrassi was Drake in? The next generation. That's the one though, that's the one that Drake was in, next generation. And then after that was, um, after Next Generation, they did The Next Class. And that one's on Netflix. You love the bunk beds? Same. I love these bunk beds. I believe these came with Dream Home Decorator, I'm pretty sure. Ma'am, you're fine. Big, big fan of bunk beds. I do hope that eventually we get more in the future, like more bunk beds. I think they'd be really cool if they did that. You stop paying your bills and you have to sell your items to turn the lights back on until you eventually have nothing. And then you get fired from your job. Yep. Basically, yep. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It makes sense, you know, when you really think about it. Because I really want to make something really, really like standoffish that's never really been done before. But it's also very... Like entertaining to play because i've had an idea of doing the decades challenge for gen 10 but at, at a pacific year in time and like you have to like because like my idea gen i forget what gen 9 is actually you see Exclamation info also share bear hey how are you doing today welcome in i hope your day is going pretty well and swell is fine evening Okay, so Gen 9 is living off the land. My idea is that I add in the decades challenge, but it's like a Pacific year and you have to go through like a time portal thing that you get from get to work and like kind of pretend that you're back in time and change some things around your world so it fits the time period. So I think it'll be really, really fun. You'll be back in a sec. All good, Caleb. We will be here. Do not worry. If you're tired, go to bed. <laughs> My Sims never like to learn anything. They don't want to ever want to go to bed. Who was that? There's a random stranger my Sims gonna talk to. It's here, but hey, hey. And Penguin, I'm glad you like the beanie. I've had this beanie for like a very long time and I have like several beanies that I own. And I'm just like, do I need to have these all? Yes and no at the same time, but I do like wearing beanies because it keeps my head warm, but then also it's just like, I don't have to comb my hair that day or brush it and I can just wear a beanie. Easy peasy lemon squeeze in my eyes. I can't wait until Gen 2. I have done Rex with just so many times. I hope you like Gen 2. Cause I think that was Gen 1 with the fact that it's Rex to Riches, it's, it's always fun to see like how you incorporate the new packs that you own and kind of do different things that you probably haven't done before. And I think it's going to be really exciting to see the mini renditions of this. And eventually what I'll, I'll, I'll do is update it because I'm thinking that we'll get a wedding pack. Of course. I want a world with it too. But I also think that if we get a world with a new game pack, I have you all live in that new world, but it's like an optional thing. I don't know. So stylish. Thank you. You know, the yellow does suit me. I would say yellow is my vibe. It's my thing. It's what I live for. Oops. It's what I live for. Yellow. Okay. I got to find some other Sims to romance. Polka. Hello. 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 The sun is out. And it's finally a beautiful day. We love a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Especially IRL and in The Sims 2. Um, but I'm glad. Is it warm where you are or cold? It's cold where I live. Sorry, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, same reason I throw on a wig when I stream. And then I don't have to do my hair. Exactly. It's like, it's easier. Less hassle. Easy peasy. It just works. It just works. 
Uh, it's hot, a nice summer day. Give me the warmth I need it. And welcome back, Caleb. Welcome, where are you going? The Sim is not up, anyway. Um, David Bajornson, what incarnation? Oh man, oh man. I also have to say, another cool thing too about this challenge is where is it at i can't seem to find it i don't know i definitely want to do a lot more things when it comes to the challenge but i have no idea like i honestly am stuck at a standstill like when this challenge ends and when the not so berry challenge ends i'm like what do i even do next just continue on until 100 generations because i'll do it Maybe I should try this challenge next. I recommend it, honestly. You finished the fine lines challenge yesterday. How long did it take you to do that challenge? Cause to me, I'm slow with legacy challenges. Wait, we just maxed the charisma skill. Oh wait, we have so many skills achieved. Charisma, cooking, gourmet cooking, media production, painting, parenting. Wow, we are really out here with the skills paying the bills today. Bowser. Uh, if if the Sims are really into making kits, then I wish they would make a kit for build items. Yes, I need that. That will be really, really good. And different shape windows. Yes, like an angled window with different sizes. Yeah. If we got like a window, like you know how like with the half gabled roofs that we have in the Sims Four. Um, I mean not like this one, but the, like the other one, like the triangle roof um that we have in the game and i think that if we got a roof a roof window that fits with that roof that would be great new soul is everything me me imagine if we got kits like uh the kits were like a new world queen d long time no see how are you doing today I hope your day is going pretty well and swell is fine. Evening. I have not done the career legacy challenge. I have plans to do that after the not so berry. Cause we're already on gen we're, we're going to be on gen nine soon of not so berry. And personally, I do want to continue with the extended version, but I also want to do the career legacy. So that is in my next uh, challenge lines for sure. It will be interesting if I did the career legacy challenge in The Sims 3. About three or four weeks. Not bad. I had the hardest time with Strangerville generation and the 10th gen. Gener the, the, the 10th generation. Hmm. What did you have to do for um, the 10th generation, by the way, if you don't want me asking? And that's what I want to do right now. University Life is the only one that has angled windows and I need it for a modern angled build today. Same. I just want more variety is all I really want and better curtains. <laughs> I just want, I want curtains that fit my windows correctly. You know, that's what I really need. I desperately need it. My Sims are fine. Oh, ooh. I did a bad thing. I didn't have all my kids study um, study hard at, at school today. At all. My sim could have moved out today. At least today is Wednesday and tomorrow is Thursday. Because, oh, we out here struggling. Untamable Flame, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope your day is going pretty well. Why do they make it so hard to size down windows? Like, all I want is a smaller window. I guess it has to do with like the framing of the window and just the size itself. Cause I think technically what they would have to do if they wanted to make a smaller window, they would have to make three different variations of it, I guess. And then, then it'll work. But I feel like you know what they could do. You know how with the counters in the game that we have and cabinets with like the different variants of all of them, I think it'd be really cool if they add it in like the side option, like you click on the window and there's like this small little like, you know, 
thing on the side with these different variants of like, oh, this one's like a different angle or it's turned a different way. I think that'd be really, really cool. We got home from work. Ooh, woo. Hopefully work wasn't too crazy today. Hopefully it was chill. Hopefully we're vibing. I do. I vibe. But I've been good so far. I had a meeting today and I did some drawing and I was watching Degrassi on my, was on my, almost on my YouTube, on my TV, on YouTube today. And I later on found out that Degrassi is coming back for another like reboot on HBO Max next year though. So I've been really like in the Degrassi mood lately these past couple of days. And it's been an absolute delight. Uh, Sims 3 used to have the perfect curtain and you would drag to the floor perfectly. Exactly. I got back into the Sims 3 uh, last weekend and I've been playing my Legacy family. And I, part of me has wanted to start a new save file just like for funsies not streaming it, not recording it, just like for plain fun. Cause I started doing that in The Sims 4 with Aspen O'Connor. And I've been having a thrill of a time playing with her and university. And she's gonna be a doctor one day at some point. So I'm looking forward to all those like exciting things for her. Ooh, food. I love food. You gotta go, but you might be back later. All good, Caleb. We will be here when you return. If you return, if not, we will see you tomorrow, hopefully, at 6 p.m. Central Time, if you'll be here. Tomorrow, we're actually streaming um, a game that we've played before, but it got a recent update and all my saves were gone because they updated and said, all your saves are deleted. So we're playing the Tenets tomorrow. And I loaded it up earlier today to see what it was like. Apparently, we got some really major good things like color swatches and new flooring and new like the whole system itself is like way better than it was before. So I'm like really happy that we're playing it tomorrow. And then Saturday, we're playing Spirit Fair. Degrassi made me afraid of high school because of the drama. Oh, same. But then I also kind of low key loved it at the same time, too. Like, I loved it, but I also like, was scared of it. A part of me was like, can my high school be like that? But I'm like, no, let's not have that. All I know, I cried a lot when I watched Degrassi because it was so emotional. You love having a new save file and then replacing all the Sims with better versions of them from the gallery, right? New outfits, new hairstyles, new person, like new traits, aspirations, everything. It's like one of the best things in the world. I have, like my save I have right now is Aspen. It's like my own little funsy save file. I actually had her live in a home that we did for a shell challenge. And then I kind of replaced some of the Sims in the surrounding area, like Willow Creek or with Springs, stuff like that. So it was a, a new fresh start, but with same Sims, but different personality, like you said. O'Connor's are the best people I know that that personally. Really? Hmm. Aspen O'Connor wants to be a, a well-renowned famous doctor, just like her mother, Aspen O'Connor. Her mother named her daughter after herself. So there's two Aspen O'Connors. And I just feel like that's just a lot. <laughs> I'm like, okay, um, name your child after you. Do what you please, ma'am. You're not tired. You're fine. We got things to do, like take care of this household and clean our kids. <sighs> Can I help you, Sarah? Okay. Queen Panda, welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. How are you all doing today? It's a panda raid. Her Royal Highness commands it. Also, by the way, that emote looks really, really good. How was your stream today in The Sims 4? I want to hear all about it. Hopefully it was swell, grand, and you did some really cool things today. If you're popping into the stream for the first time, we are playing The Sims 4, of course, but we are playing a challenge that I created myself where each generation is a different challenge called the Mix Match Legacy Challenge. But welcome, welcome in besties. 
I'm actually just happy that we're playing this because we're almost done with Gen 2 before we kind of work on Gen 3, which is the Asylum Challenge. It's almost been a, week, a year since I've played, so I was completely lost. Hey, it's all good. We all have, you know, our ups and downs, our in and outs of playing the game where we play, you know, for one year, then don't play ever again, then come back. I think it's fun to have like that experience of like not playing for so long and then coming back to it of kind of seeing what's new, what's been added to the game recently. Well, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like what you're doing. Did you learn anything new that you haven't learned before? I can age you up today. I need to age you up today, but we need to work on your, your skills. A good friend. But yeah, if you ever want to check out this challenge, it's really fun. I personally enjoy stuff like this because each gen is never the same. It's always like a new challenge that makes it exciting. New careers, new aspirations. It's kind of like the not so berry challenge in a way. All of our skills are pretty good. Oh, we'll do gourmet cooking then. We'll do baked Alaska for eight servings. I'm trying to cook a bunch of meals so I have at least something for me, these kids to eat while they're out here in these streets of doing who knows what. You learn way too much. <laughs> I feel you on that. Oh, also, thank you for the for emails. You're welcome. Your artist is wonderful. You learn about scenarios. Oh, did you do the new scenario that we got recently? It's called the New Year New Hustle scenario. And I haven't tested it out yet, but it looks really good. I think you need to achieve level three in any career, get 25,000 simoleons, and I think level five in a certain skill. And it seems pretty easy, but I feel like it's so hard because level three in any career can be difficult or hard, depending on what it might be. Because you never really know. My, e I always do the easy way out and do the social media career because it's fun that way. You earn way more, mo more money that way than anything else, especially like with Flopsy, if you become self-employed. Because technically the game doesn't really say what career you must have. It could be in, I mean, I haven't tested it myself yet. And I would assume that being self-employed would work because you have a title and a description and you earn money from like whatever means necessary. So I'm just saying, cheating the system. But also Mac, hi. I got stuck updating my mods. Ooh, when doing my clothes. I didn't get that far, it's okay. There's actually, speaking of mods, there's an actual program that I recently downloaded today. It's called the Sims 4 Mod Manager, and it's so helpful. Let me tell you, it looks amazing. Look at this. This is a mod that I recently, well, not mod, but program I recently downloaded. It organizes literally, or not organizes, it shows you literally everything in your mods folder with every single icon, everything. It allows you to like delete the file right here and there. That will take it out of your folder, out of your game, unload it, which is basically disabling that cc out of your game so you don't see it it kind of categorizes by type of like creative some items build and buy other gender age basically everything you can think of it has and it's so good so good if you are a cc addict and you like downloading cc but you need something to help manage all of your stuff also cassandra welcome in how are you doing today but if you want to download it i recommend it 100 percent uh, the link is in the chat. As of right now, it's available only for Windows computers. The Mac, it doesn't work. So if you have a Mac computer, I saw re, I don't know just yet, but it says the program is based on Java of a version of Mac OS as possible. However, I can upload this no earlier than mid January, 2022 when I have a Mac available again. So maybe somewhere mid January, 2022, maybe this month, maybe next month, there will be a version for the Mac. But as of right now, it's only for Windows at the moment, but it's really, really handy. I recommend it. But there you go, my friend, if in case anybody needs it, you did the scenario this morning and made money from Cupcake Machine. You don't need to, to do a career path. Really? Oh, well, that's great. 
That's convenient. This lumps. Oh, you know you want to slump up on this with the Glasgow, but you can't because you're a chump. A chump. I like how that's just up there with the picture and everything, it's perfect. Um, but Brianna, thank you for the five community gift subs. I really appreciate it so, so much. Thank you, thank you. Can you get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you for that brand new, those new gifted subs. You got that in my game last night. Oh, good, good. You need to go eat and thank you for the warm welcome. You're welcome. And thank you again for the raid. Enjoy your dinner or your lunch or breakfast. <laughs> But Destiny, Anybug, Twisted Snitch, RPG, and Maycat, if you got a gift, you got a gift of stuff from Brienne. If you're here in chat, make sure you say thank you. It's a courteous thing to do. Um, but if you got a gift of sub from Brienne, you have the emotes for the next 30 days that you can use across anywhere on Twitch, add free viewing, and all that jazz. But I hope you enjoy all the emotes, besties. Yes, yes. But Brienne, thank you. Also love the so. How are you doing today? How you been? How you be? You can you doing great, sweetums? How is it only 11:30? You know what? I'm gonna have all my Sims go to bed because they're doing too much. I, I missed mo some of your streams. So I'm glad I'm I could catch you. Yeah, I'm so glad you're back and you're able to catch the streams. It feels good to be able to stream, like just to have fun and hang out with you all. And when I get to see you in chat, it's like even great. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Hopefully you've been good these past couple of days. Anything interesting that you've been doing lately? You want to update update us on if you would like to? <gasps> Go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I saw that she posted a video on that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it does cause crashing for okay, some users. Really? Hmm. Well, so far it hasn't crashed for me. There was an updated version actually they posted on the 6th of January. Also, Brianne, thank you for the tier one sub as well. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the emails yourself across the Twitch. I am definitely a CC addict, so I needed it. <laughs> Maybe this will encourage me to organize my mods folder. Where's Hobie when you need them? I guess Hobie's at doing schoolwork, which is totally understandable. Schoolwork comes and comes first always. But I want to like, you know, shout to the heavens and saying, Hobie, you need this thing. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Where's my, where's the DMs? <laughs> um, where is it? Okay. I did it. <sighs> About the mods finner. Oh, she did? Oh, today? Oh, I didn't see it then. Oh, good to know. What did it say? Did you know? I need to definitely like, work. Do not eat that slice of cake. Do not. I'm going to age up. Who is it? Quinn Fabray. You can age up today. Hmm. Tia needs to age up as well. Okay, so two kids can age up today. I honestly am like so beyond like blown away on how people use their like, like their knowledge of like skills and coding and programs and everything and makes them really, really great and make it for the Sims. I'm like, oh my gosh, give me more. Also, uh, MZ Breezy, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I hope you enjoy all the emotes here on Twitch. We have we have 26 emotes, which is so wild. But thank you, thank you so much. Sims always trying to eat the cake. They really do. It makes me want to delete them. It's the urge just to delete Sims. It's like you eat this cake, I will delete you. Don't test me, because I will. <laughs> I've done it before. I honestly have to say the best email we ever had. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Please tell me you're gonna go to school today. I don't want it. I don't care. Um, I think the best email that we have is Spring Sims Pet. It's my favorite one. It's just so cursed, honestly. Lost the game. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. They look so cute. 
today is a day where peach no pecan pecan leaves the house today so we'll have one two three four five six seven we'll have two slots in our household that means we can have more slots and we have a chance of twins hey hee hee hoo hoo hee hee hoo hoo hee hee hoo hoo thank you for the bits nab i appreciate it so so much i honestly really love the cozy emo as well the cozy emo it's like a vibe it's a staple in the community because we're always cozy comfy streamers out here in these streets do not eat that cake do not eat that cake also you quinn needs to age up too no I'm going to delete my sim. <laughs> oh, and it has some request features. It's 12 seconds. Asking for requested features. <gasps> oh my gosh. I wonder if there's like a, an option in the, in the program to merge CC. If there isn't, that's what I'm going to request. Give me merge files. <laughs> Make my mods folder merge with the icon still included. And Cimarello, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it so, so much. And also, thank you for the hype as well. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna cook another cake. Do it. Delete her? <laughs> I can't. She's a part of my challenge. I can't delete her yet. Is she aged up? You know, if Regan wants to age up now and get an A in school today, that will be great. That will be really lovely for me. Hamster or rat? I would go for a hamster. They're more intelligent. Plus, they kind of look really cute. I see. I think they bring you stuff as well. Off of like those random missions that they uh, do occasionally. Regan, no, it's Quinn. Quinn ages up today, but I'll have you go to school either way. That happened to me yesterday. I was so mad at my sim. They always want to eat everything, and it's like, no. You touch the cake, you get deleted. Brian, think we load 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Now everyone leave and go to school. Please, please go to school. Begging you. Wait, why aren't you going? Oh yeah, go to school, leave, leave. Everyone leave, go to school. I need you to get good grades. Uh, however, I, uh, I don't know, however you wanna phrase it. Oh, we just need her, her final. Look, this is your final grade. You're good. I mean, who broke the TV? We're not made of money here. Why are her eyebrows white? Because of custom content reasons. It happens. When the Sims age up, they end up getting like random genetics a lot from like their either the mother or the father. And um, they just take on those traits, which is not a great time. But then CC randomizes for randoms and like my Sims I have in my household. So they end up getting the most wackiest things ever, which is concerning. Also, where's my cake? Who? I would have gotten deleted. Who wouldn't eat it? Someone also ate another slice of my cake that I just baked. I just baked this cake and someone ate a slice. You know what? They can eat it. They can eat it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do what you want. I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> Mystic, how are you doing today? We just got started and everybody's just eating my cake. When I'm in debug, it crashes. Oh, in debug, when it crashes. When I get into the bottom, anyone ever have an idea why? Like debug in the game? I have never had that issue before, personally for me. So I'm not entirely sure why that happens. My always guess is like either a mod that you have installed or like a piece of CC, because I've had that issue before, like where if I have a piece of custom content in my game, it causes a lot of like random glitches. But I do know that if you contact SimGuru Nick on Twitter, he usually helps. We're not made of money. Listen, listen, listen. This money was made from love. I use it for emergencies only. Uh, 
D oh wait, Delaney Eve, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well. We're not made of money here. <laughs> We're not made of money. I use this for emergencies only. I'm trying to use all this budget so we can build the asylum. This is the asylum budget. That's what it's there for. <laughs> of course. My finger slipped. Interesting. Interesting. Sure, 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 sure. But thank you for the 500 bits, though. <laughs> yep, I appreciate it so, so much. But sure, sure, your finger slipped. Interesting. And enjoy your lurk, uh, Golden. Enjoy your lurk. Do you normally play with no walls? No. Oh, sorry. I normally have my walls half, uh, half down. I never have my walls like all the way down because I, I need to see like my walls. But normally I have them like half down. I think I was pressing my buttons too quickly and it was like all the way down. But that's what I usually do. It's easier that way because like when you have it, the walls completely down, it's like you can't see anything really great. But when you have the walls half up, you kind of see like everything, but not everything. I also kind of... I play with the Sims 3 camera so I can see all the angles. I already put the candles on the cake. Luckily, there's no kids besides Tia. Turn it on on time. Where are you at? She's doing her homework. And then Uptown is so smelly. Who's calling me? I'm, I'm either getting a phone call from the school or getting a phone call saying that someone died. It's just like one or the other. Oh, no, it's all good. All good. All good. Let me go and bathe my one toddler I have in this household. But we're going to age him up today either way. Let me show you the family tree real quick. Oh, wow. I have not looked at this family tree in a hot minute. Bowser. <laughs> uh, right there, the 16th rose. The link is in the chat if you would like to look at it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Oh, I also want to give you a heads up, besties. So, you know, there's this custom content created by the, the name of Sixum CC. Um, oh, my lordy Lou, these kids. Wow. Well, the both of us, we're making a custom content pack together. And personally, I'm very excited. It's not done yet. I mean, he's doing all the, he's doing like all the object making because I don't know how to make that at all. I'm making some art for it and I'm very excited about it, but we need some help with, uh, naming some objects. Who's calling me right when my phone started ringing? Like who's calling me? Um, it's going to be a, a mid-century modern pack. And I personally think that's the best thing in the world. You all know how much I love mid-century modern. It's one of my all-time favorite, like, architectural styles to begin with. And so, personally, I think that um, it needs to happen more often. So, we need an idea for this, like, counter here. So, if you have an idea for, like, this counter, by the way, feel free. Feel free. I need all the ideas that you have, and I'll send them his way. I love Mid-Century Modern. It's so perfect. We also need a name for the pack itself, because I can't think of anything really, like, remotely good. <laughs> no, you can put them in the chat if you want to. That even, that helps as well. Um, let's see. When I decorate the walls, I keep in mind when I place, uh, things i always wait because i play the cutaway walls and i don't see the point of hanging things i won't see exactly and also elf coffee welcome back how are you doing today so glad that you're here a bumblebee a bumblebee counter because that's the colors Ooh. okay okay Uh, 
Um, but also Ravenclaw, welcome in. How are you doing today? How you been? How you be? Not the display case of being outside. It's the only way. Plus, we we only have we don't have too much room in this house. I like the name Bumblebee, it's pretty good. I'm not sure why, but the castaway counters. Hmm. Castaway counters. Hmm. I like that idea. Castaway counters. <gasps> I also want to make another like thing with them as well. Cause I want I want to make a full on set of mid-century modern living room and you know dining room and then you know kids room because this is going to be a kitchen set not a full-blown thing so i'm looking forward to like everything we'll be getting i also can't i actually want to show you the art that i made too you're doing pretty good can complain well hey hey i'm glad are you feeling like chilly because i am this is the art that i made so I want to make a cereal box and I made this in Procreate. What about this item name? Some objects after mid-century modern architects. <gasps> Ooh, I like that idea. That's a really good idea. I like that. I like that. Oh yeah, Ravenclaw, I'm glad you're here. We're playing the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge at the moment and we are just chilling like a villain. Coming up with names for uh, a CC pack collaboration I'm doing with Sims uh, Six Sim CC, and it's mid-century modern based. So I was like, ideas of whatever you could think of would be great to have. But I also like that idea. <laughs> Starflakes, yes. Wait, how did you know that that was the words? Are you, are, can you speak Simlish? Can you, wait, where's my iPad? It's not in here, but I think, I think, I think I typed Starflakes as like the title, but in Simlish. Oh, I like that. <laughs> um, it's also so calm and relaxing in your streams. Oh, thank you. It is very calm and very chill. I agree. Alrighty, so who do I need to age up again? Okay, I need to age you up. We can. Quinn. Um, and yeah, just Pecan and Quinn need to age up today. That's all good. I wish I was good at naming things. Okay, same. <laughs> That's why I asked you all for help because I'm like, I don't know what to do. But I like the idea of naming them after like architectural designers. Be really, really cool. I don't speak Simlish, and that's just what the art looks like to me. And you were correct. Oh, the cabinets, top knobs being that. Uh, oh, there are no knobs. Ooh, okay. I like that. I'm gonna screenshot literally everything when my sim ages up. I like that. That is so cool. I'm going to send all these screenshots. I'm going to flood their DMs as everything. <sighs> very, very good. I honestly really love, like, cereal, personally. And I think cereal is, like, my favorite thing to eat during my times of the day. I might have some cereal after stream, I'm pretty sure. Most likely I will. BRB, all good, all good. I will be here. I will be here. Makes me want to stay up all night and complete Gen 1. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Where is my... Oh, here it is. Okay. Go. I think you can complete Gen 1 very quickly, honestly. It's possible. It's it's a thing you can do. No, 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 no. Put the, ca put the candles on the cake. Cause you're aging up too. Age up, bestie. Blow out the candles. Cornflakes with banana is my jam. I've never had cornflakes. No, that's a lie. I've had cornflakes, but I just didn't like them. I love bananas. Cornflakes I've probably had like maybe once or twice in my life, and then like, eh. 
Mm, it's something. I like I like Honey Nut Cheerios and Frosted Flakes. And uh, I don't know. I guess it just depends for me on like what mood I am in. I'm in. Special K is really good. I like the strawberry ones, but I like also the plain, uh, you know, Special K. Michael, welcome in. Hey, hey, hey. How you be? How you been? Uh, you had cereal, cinnamon toast crunch, sugar cookie cereal after work today. <gasps> I love cinnamon toast crunch. It's so good. It's one of my ultimate favorite cereals I like to eat. However, I haven't had it in forever, though. I'm still concerned for her. Wait, what? My mom used to always put ice in her cereal. Why? But then again, I'm like to kind of take down all like the sugar out of it, I would assume. No milk, I guess. Cause I don't, I eat my cereal dry. I don't put any milk or anything in it ever. Cause I'm lactose intolerant and it just doesn't eat it. <laughs> but I also feel like, you know, in a way it's like, no. Some people put water in their cereal, and I just don't know why. To make it more challenging to have a baby before I have funds to make a house, or will the baby be taken away? <laughs> I say have a baby before the funds, before you have funds to make a house, because that's what I did one time for the 100 baby challenge. It didn't, it, we kept, we, we you know, we didn't lose the baby, but um, we were really struggling. The baby slept in the tent. Uh, so a question about this challenge. Each gen is a different challenge, right? Yes. Uh, so do you play with aging off? No. I do not play with aging off. I kind of keep my game running where everyone just ages up randomly when they want to. Um, if you want to play with aging off, you can. If you would like to. But um, I keep aging on just for the fun of it. Rochella, thank you for the nine month resub. I appreciate it so, so much. Bestie, enemy, person, purple streamer. <laughs> How are you doing today though? Thank you for the resub. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you. I don't know why I called you bestie, enemy, purple streamer. My words. Anyway. <laughs> I hope your meeting went well today. And I'm glad you're doing good, Michael. <laughs> yeah, we have a cow plant. It hasn't aged up yet, though. The cow plant has not aged up yet at all. But it's called Little Simsy. It went. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Little Simsy. My meeting went great. Honestly, I sat there in silence and collected all the information that could get because I was like sitting there in the back, just not saying a thing because all my ans all my questions were literally the same of what everybody else asked. And I'm like, well, I'll just sit there in silence. How does a not so very challenge work? Uh, do you just do one gen of that challenge? Yes. You just do one gen of that challenge. So like the way I kind of worked it is that I'm picking different challenges from other challenges because some of them are really long and very outdated and boring. And I feel like with the storyline that I created for each gen, it kind of makes sense. Like for example, with um, gen six, with gen six was the Dizzy Princess Legacy Challenge. I picked gen three from that challenge based on like what the previous gen was and also kind of where I want to kind of tie into the mix. Same thing was like not so very with gen two for gen 12. So yeah, it kind of just makes it more interesting and more fun that way when you're not doing the whole thing, but you're only doing like one part of it. Brian, thank you for the 20 bits. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. When my grandmother would run out of milk, she would just put tang in my cornflakes why no 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 i'm gonna tweet something i'm gonna tweet something real quick um because i think it's very important um i'm gonna do a poll on twitter um should you 
put water do you know do you think water should be replaced instead of milk in your cereal One hundred percent, yes. No. <laughs> RPG, thank you for the for the hundred bits. Are you all trying to start another hype train? It's not gonna work. I've had one cow plant, and it, it's unalive. And now the new one won't grow, and it's glitched. I've noticed some of the cow plants are actually kind of glitched. Rochella has a cow plant named after her. Did she break it? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I think that it was... I don't really get cow plants as much just because I, I can never seem to find them. Are you going to add halfway through? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So you only do one generation for from the Not So Berry Challenge in my challenge. Yes. So only do what was um in there. Which is a uh, Gen Two. Yes, only one. Yes, yes. So it's easier for you for your sanity gameplay and just your game in general. So you should have like once you get to Gen Twelve, you should have like twelve generations instead of like twenty two. You know. And you're welcome. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I'm still kind of writing out all the rules though, just because I'm still figuring out. You know the backstories for each one because i am heavily passionate about storytelling whether it's in the sims or just like irl and so everything for me needs to have a story to it also liz welcome in how are you doing today i'm going to go eat dinner i'm going to be i usually stream for about three to five hours but um nowadays i've been streaming for like three hours so i'll be live for like the next two hours you vote it very good. Oh, let me give you all the tweet, by the way, if you all want to see it um, and vote in it. <laughs> People say absolutely no. Here's a tweet, by the way, if you want to see it. If you have City Living King, you harvest all the plants at the event and you have a chance of getting a cow plant. Yes. Oh, I have a chance of collecting all the uh, cow plant berry. Hmm. That's a good thing, because that will be that will work really, really well with rags to riches. Alrighty, so let's see. Who needs to age up today? So your skills are fine. You have a B in school, so you are going to age up today, but we need to work on one of your skills. Social skills. So let's have you go over here about the computer and have you go and ch chat in kids' chat room. You are going to age up today, too. I'm going to work on your creativity. So continue doing that. But I think I'm going to get a drawing table. I'm waiting for it to pop up. Come on, come on. <laughs> the gallery do be kind of crazy. Um, Who asked for the gallery? Let's see. Oh, and you love this house? Thank you. I did not build this house myself. Well, I did. I did build this house myself, but I renovated a little bit more to fit my needs and also my Sims needs. Because originally this house was built by, I think, either Thomas TV or Claire Siobhan. I forget because all the lots in Hemford and Bagley are built by YouTubers that you already know, um, not built by EA. So like, hey, Harry, Devin Bumpkin, uh, Claire Siobhan and... Thomas TV one built all the lots in the Sims four, um, for him for cottage living, which is really, really great. By the way, honestly, top of the line, top tier. Oh, thank you so much. RPG. Um, wait, is there a pop-up for donations? N oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> I don't, I usually don't get donations ever. Um, so I never had an alert for that, which is pretty interesting. Wow. Oh, Wait a minute. Look at me. Thank you for the for the donation, by the way. Uh, just before you read this, uh, my name is is 
a stalic. Oh, well, I'm so glad I can make your days better. And thank you for the donation. I really, really appreciate it so, so much. Yeah, normally I never really get donations ever because I never expect them. So thank you for that. I appreciate that so, so much. Much love from Britain. Much love from America. <laughs> from an American boy. <laughs> an American child. Thank you, thank you. Uh, use almond milk. I've never had almond milk. Have you tried milk with, have you tried milk without the lactose? No, cause I never trust it. I never really trust anything lactose free cause I feel like it's not lactose free, you know? Whoever gave me a gift sub, I appreciate you. Uh-huh, it was Brienne who gave you a gift sub. Yes, yes. Uh, let's have you go and draw some shapes. But yeah, I'm really glad you all enjoy the streams. You know, the one thing I, I, I feel like I've taken out of like this whole streaming thing, like career of mine is that you all make my day better, but it's just like, just by being your genuine kind selves. And it makes me happy that you all enjoy the content that I make, whether it's on YouTube or like Twitter or occasionally TikTok or like Twitch. And it's like, I've learned over time that it's one I've learned a lot from my mentor, Cypher PK, because I haven't I had a meeting earlier today um, with them. And he was saying, like, you have like your core audience that is there for like you. And like you will like you, you can stream literally whatever you want and they'll be there no matter what. And I feel like you all are like my core audience that I stream whatever I want. And you all end up being here. And it really makes me happy that you all enjoy just me and my personality not just for like whatever i'm streaming and, it, and it's like really reassuring you know mentally spring reminds me of bananas i love bananas i never buy them because i just forget that they're on my counter you know oat milk i've heard oat milk is good what in look at this look at this do you see this <laughs> There's 40 votes already. 7.5% people, oh, 7.1% people said yes. 92.9% .9 said no. I love that. Anyway. <laughs> you were the kind. Thank you. And like for me, I never have ever like, I never have plans of ever stop streaming. I just want to keep going and going and going until, you know, I can't go no more. And I think that it's, we all grow together as people and as professionals. Like we all learn new things every single day in streams. And it's like, whether I'm talking about how to be better, how to be a better Twitch streamer, like how to grow on Twitch or whatever, or how to make YouTube videos or whatever it might be. We all learn something new, whether it's Sims based, streaming based, personal, whatever. It's always fun. I take these streams as a learning lessons of what I, what I could do better the next day. What could I change around my content that will be entertaining for me, but also for you all. And that's why we always do like shell challenges and like community games every now and then, which I want to do again this year. And, uh, you know, just you know, be better. Milk is strong for the bones, so it should stay true. I mean, there's calcium pills. That's what I take. <laughs> I take the the vitamins to help my bones. Okay, let's see. Sell this. Where are we at? Your skills are okay. Your skills are good. Your skills are good. Your skills are a par. Um, I started watching you for what you stream and I say for your personality. I love your upbeat personality. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what that was. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you. I love how engaged you are in each comment and uh, converse instead of just reading and being done with it. Yeah, I feel like when I do that, like I don't do that ever. As, at least I try not to. Um, I feel I don't feel like I am. Um, what was I trying to say? But yeah, I feel it's it's important to have like a conversation. That's why I I go on tangents a lot, like a lot, a lot. And I think it's important to just, you know, 
be authentic, be true, and like, you know, have a conversation with like that one person because that one person, you know, may be new to the stream or, you know, whatever it might be. Being interactive is is a key thing for me. Even before streaming, I've I could talk for hours, like on end to somebody and I'd have a conversation with them. And it's just like what I need. Me as a Pisces, it's like I want to be social and I plan on being social until the end of time, you know? Interactivity is my thing. Yeah. And also, Car Car, welcome in. How you be? How you been? I've been good. I've been good. My child is stinky. I feel great. I'm no longer cold as much, which is great. So we've just been vibing mostly, trying to kind of get all these skills of all of my kids up and their grades up so I can move them all out. But so far, so good. We're just, we're just kind of talking about, you know, just general stuff of like doing things for yourself, believing in yourself, like being your own hype person is very important because I don't know, it, it, I had to be my own hype person for a long time when it came to like YouTube and streaming. Well, mainly YouTube streaming. People got there eventually in the end, but like with YouTube, a lot of people said, oh, that's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to make it big. You're not gonna make any money from that. That's just lame because people thought making YouTube videos for a living was weird. Literally, it was weird. The questions I've gotten in the past of like, so how much money do you make on YouTube? You don't ask a person that. And so I think that it's important to uh, be your own hype person. But also kind of set boundaries for yourself. When people like kind of cross the line of certain things, it's like, yeah, no. Kind of cut yourself off from a situation that makes you feel uncomfortable. That it's like when you don't feel right in that, in that scenario or in that friendship, set boundaries for yourself, cut them off completely. Cause having a toxic friendship or just toxic in general is never good. So I just do it in the Sims. I can talk your head off, but only after I get to know you first. Exactly. I'm so shy IRL that I'm a very shy person when like I meet someone new, I hardly ever talk because I don't know what to say. Cause I barely know that person. But then I'm also thinking like, I don't really, uh, I don't know. The vibe wasn't there. But then also like when I get to know you, it's like I can never stop talking. And I, I progressively get louder too as well, which is not great. <laughs> uh, devil, uh, blah, blah, devil Oceana, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell in this fine evening. But my day's been good. Had some meetings, talked to my mentor today with, um, I talked to Cypher PK today with, the, well, it was a group setting, not just by myself, but it was like a group setting session with the class of AT&T and, um, Momo was there, it's me, Choi was there and some other streamers and it was really fun kind of being in that circle of a group to learn from a person who's been doing this for a long time, but also who's like really high up there in like twitch you know so it feels good to learn new things each day so it's been a good productive learning day as i would say uh you've been great by the way how did you get everything done with school <laughs> yeah i'm com i'm completely done with school yes i'm no longer in school <laughs> i have plans in i have no plans of ever going back anytime soon um but yeah, I'm completely done. I finished school back in December. I haven't gotten my certificate yet, but I'm going to email the school to see when they're going to mail it so I can have it. Ooh, do not skip school. Go to school. You're a Leo, so you're really shy, and believe it, believe it or not, I'm a Pisces. And so, like, I'm very shy. Like, I can be social when I want to. But I can be very, I can come off as very closed off and overly emotional, which is very, very true. So, yeah. You finished your build. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. So, did you go big or go small with the build today? Tay Cookie, welcome back. You doing good, kiddos in bed now? Oh, good. The kiddos are all in bed. Very good. You've been planning on fully upgrading to a PS5 for your birthday, hopefully. Ooh, 
any games in particular you're kind of looking into playing on your PS5 that you plan on eventually up upgrading? Because I was going to say the Spider-Man game is pretty great. I don't own a PS5, but from what videos I've seen, they look great. <laughs> uh, that's good to hear. I wasn't sure if you had to go back. Oh, no. Oh, no. If I had to go back, you would not even hear the end of it. You would hear me complain all, all hours in the day. <laughs> all hours in the day of me complaining about school. But, um... Luckily, I mean, with, with my school that I went to, it wasn't as bad. It was pretty easy. Luckily, it was not in person. Because if it was in person, I'd be like, uh-uh, I can't do that. It's like, I want to be interacting with people, like, in person. But I'm like, I can only handle so much, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I can only handle so much interactivity with people IRL in one room for an hour or so. The struggle be... Uh, of being a Pisces. It's so awful. I hate it. I hate being a Pisces, but I also like being a Pisces. But what's great about being a Pisces is that we're very creative people. Is the thing. John Taylor, the 10th president, did not even know that was the 10th president because I did not even know. Still has living relative. What? Has a living relative. His grandson, Harris, is was born 1980. 1928 really he really up there in numbers does harrison have any kids is it is a generation continuing jurassic world evolution 2 oh i have that game on p on pc we were playing it on stream not too long ago um when the game came out it was a sponsored stream and it was so much fun and i want to play it again it's so cool it's so so good Oh, no, it's all good. All good, Share Bear. I did see, like, a little preview of your house that you did. And it looks so good. I'm a little bit jealous. Share Bear, I'm going to need to have you share your skills. Because I'm going to need them. Yeah, I need to, like, I need to do all the other builds. Yeah. For all the points. It might be just for a stream that I'll do them for for now for the builds yeah i still have them in the list but i need to do them all is a thing we do be uh, emotional <laughs> feels things to the core always it's just awful i hate it indeed he does he has three kids i believe okay that's, you know that's good continuing the legacy but I, even, I didn't even know that was our 10th president. I don't really do well when it comes to history. Never liked it. Never did. Hated every second of it. I passed my history class with a C plus. So that's a good thing for me. Everything else, not so much. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 gives me Zoo Tycoon vibes. Yes, and that's what I like about it. There's a clip of me streaming the game. Apparently, those dinosaurs can break their great their gates and eat people. So that's a thing. So be aware, your dinosaurs will eat people. I'm not as creative, but I did find that using the yarn balls helped a lot with the gumdrops. I see. I know Zephyrin did that too with one of her builds. And I thought that was the most coolest thing ever. Like, that's so smart. Using the yarn balls. Like, I don't think of that stuff half of the time, ever. Or oh, hardly. And vacuum trashing for the hosts. Welcome to the post. Oh, no problem. All good, all good. Yeah. You know, it's how you all are reminding me because I tend to forget things half of the time. Wasn't there two of my builds? Uh, yeah. I think there was. Well, I think we already did that one already. Is there one? All I see is Car Car, Sarah, and Garrett. That's it. That's all I see. <laughs> I only see three things on my list. Oh, that's a Zoo Tycoon Dinosaur Egg expansion pack. If the carnivores got loose, they would chase and attack Zoo guests. Oh, my lord. It's crazy. 
crazy. Um, speaking of the next shell, we got to make the next one soon at some point. I want to do it ne not next month, but I want to do it sometime this month. Use them for half walls. And they gave you the idea. Ah. Oh, they're asking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There was one. And there still is one. I turned it off because we were doing shell tours and I didn't want people to get confused. Um, but there is one. I just turned a bunch of them off for reasons. Um, but yes. Um... Yeah, there we go. I turned it back on. There we go. What am I doing again? Oh, yeah. I'm streaming. Also, Brienne, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So all these little paintings here from Flopsy. But yeah, I turned it back on. I'm also trying to decide what I want to do with the points, not points, but um, channel rewards. I want to make new ones, but I have no idea of what to really add next. So if you have any ideas on what we could do next for like those type of rewards, let me know. Put them in the Discord so we have a list. So the mods have a list of things that we can do. Really, really helpful. It really would. Let me go working out. Vacuum trash. Thank you for the bits and RPG. Thank you for the bits as well. Y'all are really trying to start a hype train, aren't you? It only happens every hour. So insane. I can't. Uh, anyway, it's like you're trying to trigger something. I'm scared. <laughs> Anyway, oh, you're done with school. La, 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 la. Who has an A in school? Who's ready to age up? Regan can age up. Salim can age up. Okay, good. So two kids can age up today, which is perfect. Um, Let's get our birthday cake out. And I think I'm going to go out today. Since today is Friday, we'll get pregnant again. Stop being angry. You're fine. Okay, Regan, age up, bestie. Age up. Oh, Chairberry, you just have points to spend, don't you? You just have points to spend. How much points do you have? How many points do you have? There you go, Brienne. Also, VIP for a month. I can do that for you. Perfumundo, don't worry. Chairberry is like, I have points to spend. 60k more oh my goodness gracious wowzers uh i should finish the base game build a few days ago certainly a 75k i want to spend them Ooh, will very good i can't wait to see the build then um any new information on the pack that's coming no there hasn't been anything new i have seen i was hoping that the sims would tweet today because usually they like post pack news on um, like Tuesdays or Thursdays mostly. But I haven't seen anything yet lately. Have birthday candles, please. I would assume that we might they might wait until next week on Tuesday because the pack leak, because Xbox, basically Microsoft leaked it. And EA is aware of it, of course, because everyone knows. But I think that um, they might hold it off until like Tuesday and say, surprise, we have a new a new kit coming called the Carnival Kit. And I'm like, oh, OK. Surprise, surprise. I already knew. Uh, did you know that if you have one of the rodents in your house, your kid can sit the rodent and it counts as doing homework? It does? Hmm. I might just have to get one of those then. That kid, it looks horrified. I did not know that. They did just get back. Wait, they just get back to... That is also true. They did just get back from, like, to work full-time last week. 
And so like they're kind of kind of playing catch up on everything, especially with emails too. Uh, why is it, wait, why were they called the Dark Ages? Because there were a lot of knights. Get it? Yammer Hammer, get it? Dark Ages, because there were a lot of knights. Because it was dark. Back then. <laughs> Not just because, like, the knights and shining armor, but the knights, because it was dark. Badoosh. <laughs> Um, but I hope you enjoy the VIP share bear though. Um, but you know what's interesting though? What they shared recently, this was like yesterday, but they shared this thing as a tweet. So, so they said, so you're hypothetically making your crush for the 100, 108th time in cast. What are their three traits? Not very subtle. It's like you're hypothetically making your crush for the 108th time. A part of me feels like they're hinting without hinting. Wedding pack coming soon to a store computer screen near you. <laughs> I will be here all week. I have jokes for days. Jokes for days. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway. I can't. I can't. <laughs> anyway. They always hint without, make, without hinting. They really do. They really do. I'm like... Us simmers. We've been around for 22 years of life. At least I have. Longer than that. 25 years of life. But 22 years, we catch on. We know. They can't hide the truth from us. We already know what it is. It's already in our hands. But give it to me now. He can wants to hang out? No. <laughs> I tend to make female sims of what I would want to look like I only make female sims because I have the most custom content for them but they're also very fun to stylize and dress up male sims are bada bing bada boom 10 minutes and that's it that's literally it not 10 minutes but like it takes time for them it takes me time you know I'm just slow it's like well I can't do it all uh Lulani welcome in how are you doing in doing in how are you doing today? <laughs> Hope your day's going pretty well. Hope you're doing well. We got to find you so you can run and tell it. <laughs> Cast up full edit mode. There we go. Who are you? Oh. There we go. But XOXO, Liliani, how you been? We are playing the Mixed Match Legacy Challenge. We're on Gen 2. We're going to go out and have some more kids because we got to progress in this challenge if we're going to finish Gen 2 for Gen 3. How do snails fight? They slug it out. Yeah, they slug it out. I just hope this wedding pack is good. I feel like it's going to be personally because it's a game pack and I feel like game packs have a lot of potential of being decently okay. But have the potential of like being really good at the same time. So I think it's going to be okay. I think we're going to get like online dating and like um, new new outfits, of course, new venue type, maybe a possibility of having um, honeymoons, uh, bachelor and bachelorette parties, having like a, uh, an idea of what what is it called again? A, a registry for like a wedding registry for like your wedding. People bring gifts and based on what you request will be really cool to have. It will, it will really be cool to have an option to have Sims get stuff off of your registry and they will come to your wedding with a, a wedding table and saying, place gifts here. That will be really nice. If not, then a mod will be made for that eventually soon, I feel like. So, yeah. 
if it is a wedding pack, will you have Thomas Watson marries to love to marry? Yes, I will. I've really, you know, to be honest, I haven't recorded the Let's Play in a while because I just been waiting for the right moment to record it. And I feel like that a wedding pack is needed. I just don't know when it will happen, but I think that um, I want to wait to record the next, the next and last part of the Let's Play before starting a new one until we get that wedding pack. I know, rip little Miss Sam Sims, uh, Sims the dating app. That was like the best thing ever, honestly. I mean, now with um with Arnie, he has already added into his own mod, where it's called Love to Me, where it's already dating. So they added that in. But Lilani, how you been? How you be? These replies on my tweet are very concerning. Welcome back, Brianne. How are you? I want to show you the uh, the replies I've gotten so far of this tweet. Let me guess, one of your Twitch mods took over your Twitch your your over your account. Eggy says, "Blink if you need help." Uh, Melanie Y said, "I do tang again, before just water." <laughs> Doctor Ashley said, "What what?" And then White Deer said. Just a picture of Robert Downey Jr. in distress. Luke said, what? Avalyn said, who are you? Say our brand <laughs> said, you woke up this morning and chose chaos, didn't you? Gabby said, wouldn't that just be oatmeal? See, Shirley said, I don't like milk, but I liked, uh, I do, wait. But I have to have milk and cereal. I know it's strange. I figured. I figured it was you. Yeah. Hey, Hobie, did you get my DM in all caps? I don't trust anyone who eats cereal with water. Neither do I. It's just like, what is it? This is not your fault. It's pronounced a... Uh, oh, Lila Nee. Oh, oh, Lila Nee. Lila Nee Lee. Leela Nee Lee, like the Hawaiian Lee. Oh, 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 Leia. Leila Nee. Leila Nee. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, but yes, I want to build something in The Sims, but I don't know what to build. Any recommendations? I say anything mid century modern you can get away with, honestly. I say it's worth it. Mid-century modern. Suburban is really good to do. I recommend. Hopefully they're adding a wedding planner. I want that. I You know, I want both. Well, you know, either one. Makes sense. I think that it's per, it's important to um have an event planner. Because you don't want to plan this uh, whole thing by yourself, you know. It's worth it. It's worth it. A wedding planner career think of okay think of the possibilities but also i also feel like if we got an event planner or like wedding planner career with this game pack which i don't think it could happen but if we do get it i think it would have more than one level i think it's important to have more than one level unless it's like more like that one-off career i don't know it's okay thank you I'm terrible at responding to DMs. Me. I can vouch that for Hovi. Oh my gosh. Um, we were just talking about the um a mod and then like just packs in general and you know, Twitter and things. I feel like if you're putting water in instead of milk, you're in a dark place. Yes. Oh wait, I don't wanna uh we'll go to their house, why not? Why not? And if that's the case, a 100, a 100 baby house for each stage of the challenge. <gasps> Ooh, that's a really good idea. Shoebox is on to something. That's a really good idea. A 100 baby house for each stage of the challenge. That's a good idea. No, I want to kind of do it, that too. That'd be a really good idea. I like that. Hmm. Multi-generational. 
seems clean, seems perfect. Um, that will be very cool. I think if we did a wedding planner career, would it be a freelancer maybe? That's what I'm thinking. I think it would more count as a freelancer because isn't, no, because the interior designer career is a basic career by itself, not freelancer. But I think, I, I think so. I think it would be a, um, for sure, a uh, freelancer. It makes more sense because essentially you're not like always having Sims getting married left and right. They will call you up when need be. So yeah, it would make more sense. I'm here all week, guys and gals and non-binary pals. I'm here all week. <laughs> With all the good ideas. Yes, yes. Um, I also think that maybe the way it works, if it was a freelancer career, you would have, um, what's it called? You would have, um, um, what was I saying? You would have gigs and you can choose a gig what you want. And like based on that gig, there's like certain requirements, the budget, stuff like that, you know? You are not the father. Oh, that is not how you spell that. You are not the father. Maybe you are. Maybe you are. And maybe. Maybe you are. And maybe you're, you're, you're not. I had a baby with, nope, I'm going to do this one. I had a baby with, baby with you, not a relationship with you. Understand the difference. There you go. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals is the best thing I've ever heard all week. Best thing in the world, always and forever. Just like the originals. Another tweet from Sim Guru about making your crush and cast. I think the crush is a one-sided relationship. Do you think an attraction system is coming? I think so. I feel like it could. It's a possibility. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Also, Brienne, thank you for the 400 bits, by the way. Thank you. Here's my thinking. That could be a thing. But then also, what do you think of them updating like the, the whole creative sim system of like more things we can have? Like um boyfriend, girlfriend, aunt, uncle, like you know, categorizing the relationships in cast instead of like in gameplay. They're like birth and stuff. What if we could do that? In cast. I would love that, honestly. I really would. Who did I not have a kid with? I have no idea. These are all my kids. Hold up. Did I? You know what's sad? I'm friends with all of my kids, and that's just worse. Um, hold up. I think I can add a requirement in here. Requirements, marital status, not married. Well, you know, I don't want to care. No, hold up. Uh, career, financial status. Uh, I wish it was like a relationship thing. That would be very smack, honestly. I have waited so long for that. Same. I waited so long for that too. I need it like now. Give it to me now. Uh, I guess uh, financial status. We'll make a middle class because none of the kids are are rich to begin with. She doesn't fit. Wealthy? She she fits the wealthy more? Oh my gosh. You know, wealthy sims, why not? None of these kids are wealthy. And also, why can't toddlers and kids have colored hair? I don't know. I really don't know. I would love to have kids to have colored hair. That'd be really nice. It really would be. I don't, I can't tell. I can't tell who I had a kid with or not. Ninja, where are you? We need ideas. The gurus have been very quiet these past couple of days. And I'm like, why? <laughs> oh no. 
What did I do? <laughs> Someone said proving once and for all cereal is not a soup. Yeah, cereal is not soup. You know what's sad? I'm friends with all of my kids. What's even funnier though, all of my other challenges, all of my kids hated me and had a bad sentiment towards my matriarch. What? That is true. Ninjas and Kayla streams a lot. I tried to catch him off guard. Am I pregnant? Am I a couple of it? So that's a very challenge. And just genetics in general, I wish that we could update that. Same. I'm not progondinate. Nope. Try again. No, I don't want to take a shower. That's lame. Where did the sim go? Did he leave? David Dobrik, come back here. Where are you? Um, set access to activities to woohoo and you can get relationships that way and delete your kids in consideration. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, hmm. Let's see, you are not the father. Kids and no, oh, and no relationships needed. I, I like being single and loving it. So do not love me more than once or you will be deleted dot 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 we need you to use the game changer badge and make some demands for us <laughs> i wish i had that i wish i had that that'd be nice you know that'd be really great so you said set activities okay I think it's a, I'll say, is it hobbies? <laughs> That's not a hobby. That's like, no. Social, woohoo, there it is. Everyone, oh my lordy loot, yes. So this should cancel them out? No. <laughs> uh, cereal would, uh, would technically be cold soup though. True. Could be pasta soups and cereal is made of flour. That is also very true. Cereal, cereal, and soup is soup. <laughs> Not this debate again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I see all of my kids. These are all of my kids. Wait, you. I haven't had a kid with you or you. Jovan Bunch. Why do you sound familiar? I'm going to add you in here. Mm, why do I feel like he's wearing kids? Oh, I need, a, I need an icon. Or. <laughs> I eat cereal all the time. No matter what time it is, I'll eat it. I love, I almost say I love drinking cereal. I love eating cereal. It's my favorite thing to eat half of the time. So these are not my kids, which is great, I think. You're an alien, but I don't know where you're at. So I'm going to invite over the sim to the certain lot and woohoo. No cereal is not soup. Don't ruin soup for me. Don't do it. I will not allow it. Leave the lid. Hey, hey, hey. And Star Green Tea, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell. I'm doing pretty good. I've been chilling like a villain, vibing. Having kids in The Sims 4, because that's what we do here in these streets of life. Don't think I had a kid with you. I don't remember if I did or not, but maybe I had. Actually, do you have any kids? You have no kids, so I didn't have that kid with you. But um, so far, so good. I had a meeting earlier this day, earlier today. I did some drawing for a coloring book. Working on a portfolio thing to submit to a publication and an agency so I can be a published author this year. I don't remember... When was the last time I ate, had cereal? The last time I had cereal was like two weeks ago. What is your all time favorite cereal you like to eat? I'm going to do bugle. Yes. Okay. I ate a box of bread today. Anti cereal supers just need to come to the dark side. <laughs> You ate a lot of bread today. I love bread. I've been eating a lot of um, multi-grain bread. And it's really good. 
but you didn't share the bread? Star green tea, share the bread, share the wealth. I need the bread. <laughs> but also, thank you for the bits. <laughs> it's just like the whole argument of is is a Die Hard a Christmas movie? This is another argument that people have. I love it. I'm causing chaos. Let me fax you the bread. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my fax number is 1-800-230-6825. Fax me the bread. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is so good. Who? He... Philip Oates. Can I woohoo with a ghost? I just might. Bread is good for the soul and stomach. It is. You know, I have not had Lucky Charms in a hot minute. It's been a long time since I've had Lucky Charms. Mod love. Mod love. Mod love. Mod love. Mod love. Uh, Irving's hair is fabulous. I agree. I forget what this hair came came from. Oh, Irving. This hair, I don't know where I got this one from. It's custom content. But I forget which one, which CC pack it was. Honey, much of oats, always and forever. It's so good. You want to try the frosted kind? I haven't had the frosted kind yet. I've had frosted... Honey Nut Cheerios before, and those were great. S'mores cereals, never had them. I've never had s'more cereal before. Can I add your, a ghost in here to my group? I don't think I can. Actually, let's see. Actions, add to group. Yes. Can I, no. Taco Bell has wings? Since when? I did not know. Google. Taco Bell. Taco Bell wings. Why Taco Bell will stop selling its wings? Wait, what? It's a limited time, though, is the thing. A limited time. Interesting. I did not know that. Now I want some s'mores, you say? Never had s'mores. Where did the go? Oh, I was like, where did the ghosty go? He was over here. Flirt with me. Since not long ago. I guess I just haven't been out and about to like eat fast food or just like thing, anything in general. I've been eating food at home and making it myself. Huh, I did not know that. Lucky Charms. You love the marshmallows and the Fruity Pebbles. I like eating the marshmallows more than anything because it's just so delicious. So delicioso. I've never had s'more cereal. And Alex Ish, welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I cannot believe this. I'm going to have to do some photos. Uh, take a photo selfie with Phillips. Look, I feel like Taco Bell wings are like nacho fries. Yeah. The way I said Google. What if I go to the Taco Bell's menu? Taco Bell menu. Yes. New. Ew. What is this stuff? This stuff looks nasty. Nachos, burritos, groups, quesadillas, specialties, value meat. Uh, they don't really have anything on here. Would it be on our specialties? Maybe. I don't know. That's so weird. But I'm so glad that you're back, Alex, uh, Alex Ish. How you been lately? How's your days been? <laughs> uh, they will have them randomly and then take them off the menu. For like six months it's so weird that they do that stuff i'm like keep it on the menu but then i get also like people just don't want that all the time which makes sense 
I'm free from my class now. Very good. Very good. You're free. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters cereal. I'm sorry, excuse me? What? No. Did you know there's Sour Patch Kids cereal? Did you know that? Flirt with me. Love me. Choose me. Pick me. What if I just like... I'm gonna bugle. No, I'm gonna often... No. Look deep into eyes. Did you know there's Sour Patch Kid I What? Ice cream? They've gone too far. They have gone too far. I cannot believe this. Oh, wait. I think if I edit the group. Requirements. He's dead, though. Age. There should be, like, a ghost option. That'd be nice. I don't think there really is. Hmm. That's okay. Yes, I never tried it. It sounds like not a good time. Never tried it either. Never tried it either. He didn't, you know what? You know what? He didn't like it. He didn't like it. What if I like, when did Daniel die? When did, oh my gosh. Yep, Sour Patch cereal. First they're sour, then they're sweet, and then they're gone. It sounds disgusting. It was an 80s thing? Oh. Wait, you're telling me I can't woohoo with a ghost? First kiss. The ice cream sounds better than the cereal. Oh, yeah. Uh, excuse me. For quoting Gray's less than three. Thank you for the thousand bits. Gray's Anatomy will always live in my head rent free no matter what. Did you know that they have season 19? It's confirmed. They got renewed for season 19. I'm trying to have a ghost baby. I also want to see if it works. Stop complaining. Where, where, where? First kiss. I was like, you're already dead, so I can't really push you in a piranha pool again. Exchange numbers. <laughs> you know what? Get out of my sight. Leave me. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Bye. Bye. Get out of my sight. I cannot believe this. You can woohoo with a ghost, but she can't get pregnant. Oh, well, that's sad. You can do in The Sims 3. <laughs> I feel like America will make any candy into a breakfast thing. Yeah. Like Starbucks yogurt. I feel like that's, that's like reasonable, tasteful. I have a love-hate relationship with Grey's Anatomy. So do I. I continue to watch it but I continue to hate it at the same time. Like this season right now, no spoilers of any kind, but like this season is boring. You've never watched Grey's Anatomy, but I love House. I recommend Grey's Anatomy, but it's so long. There's 18 seasons, 18. But I'm also like trying to shift my focus away from Grey's and maybe watch Chicago Med or um, The Good Doctor. Too much... An emotional roller coaster for mental health sometimes. Oh, I feel you. Am I pregnant? Why am I not pregnant? Try again. Like you have, like you literally have to keep watching in order to like understand everything. Yes, the both good shows. Ooh. I've never seen House before. What is it about? Pregnant? Finally, let's leave. watch the Chicago shows and then message me. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Like for me, when I started watching, like I, I kind of started watching Chicago Med, but I stopped watching because I got bored. But I need to like slowly get back into it. And I think it's important for me to do that. Because once I'm hooked to a show, I'll like talk about it all day and every day. As far as medical drama goes, I enjoy The Resident. That sounds familiar. The Residence. It has... Oh, it's on Fox. Oh, and Hulu. Oh, okay, good. Then I can watch it there. 
how many seasons does I have so far? It looks like, oh, five seasons. Okay, not bad. House is the best medical show ever. You never seen Grey's about one of my friends live tweeted to me and it ruined my life. It's a lot of, it's a lot. It really is a lot. Grey's to take in. Um, also, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm going to see what, um, let me see what house looks like. Um, are you talking about house MD? Is that what you're talking about? Because that's what came up for me. Eight seasons on uh, Prime Video. Um, oh, it's on the Roku channel? Interesting. Hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Also, PG Ghosty, welcome in. And there's all the links you need to know about the challenge. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, you like the good doctor, but season four, I think it was when I stopped caring about it. But House is uh, House was was a good show. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, you're a radiologic technicianist. Ooh, technical terms. Ooh, woo. So healthcare speaks to me. We love to hear about it. You know, ever since I started watching Grey's Anatomy or like any medical show, I feel like a doctor without being a doctor, you know? I like the treadmill placement. It always see, I always see people put them in the home gyms. This feels more realistic. It's more easier this way. I'm trying to give my Sims a way to work out because they won't. But then also I think I should start putting like home little gyms somewhere, especially in the living room so they, get, so they can continue to watch TV. Also, some real thing for the for the 100 bits and also for starting another hype train at 75%. I actually would love to have more treadmills. Like, all I ever want in The Sims is, like, the ability to create my own objects no matter what it might be. Like, I want my Sims to make their own fireplace, like, their own treadmill, like, from scratch. Like, they are an engineer and they make their own, like, treadmill. We can make robots. Why not treadmills, you know? It's all good. Never feel like you have to like do anything, like give bits or sub or anything. I'm totally okay. Totally okay. I'm certainly re-watching re ER. You love that show so much. Ooh, ER. I feel like I've seen it one time. Has anyone seen Scandal before? I've seen Scandal, but I never really got into it. I don't know. Something about Scandal was just like, it wasn't like enough for me. I don't know why. It just didn't feel like, mm, you know, like something was to participate. He -he. <laughs> like something was missing from it. Thank you for the bits and thank you for participating, Dab. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, I don't know why I went to cast and gave my sim a makeover, knowing the full fact that he won't be here for a long time. But it does give me a chance to have these kids to work on their teenager skills. So let's have you open up this and start reading the vampire lore books to level three. Then you can do your homework. You can also do your homework. Homework. And then you, Tia, your school stuff is fine. Level three, you need to get level four in that skill. So we'll work on that as well. These guys are doing great, by the way. I can also age up my toddler. Um right behind the couch cheer one 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 <laughs> thank you for the 50 bits penguin right behind the couch just makes sense for anyone who doesn't live in a giant house oh yeah i agree with you behind the couch is perfect i found you through the little simsy channel and then you're so much fun oh thank you so much brie biscuit and your name sounds very familiar and i like, I, I watch Simsy all the time, but, like, I always, like, recognize interesting names, and your name sounds familiar. I feel like Kayla said your name in chat one or two times, I think. I'm pretty sure. But I'm glad you're here, though. <laughs> uh, he's here for a good time and not for a long time. Exactly. You've watched The Little Scandal, but she's too crazy for the prize. And I think that's why I got, like, too, like, eh about it, because I didn't like it. Revenge is an interesting show, but also How to Get Away with Murder is an other interesting show that I want to watch, but I haven't really got into it fully like I want to. Where is my child? Over here. Smelly as ever. 
I love that you're still having your kids do the vampire lore. It's the only way to get their skills up faster, especially when they're um, teenagers. Easy peasy. Plus, they learn the skills very fastly, I realize. Brienne, thank you for the 300 bits. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's just an interesting child there. Uh, just a few times. Yeah, I like, it's like, I recognize a lot of names. Like, this is an interesting name. I recognize somewhere. Who died? Oh, Daft Daft Barry. What you calling me for? Question, quick question. Coleman L. Kamari and I are planning to spend more time together. Sure. Do that. Spend more time together with, with them, please. Also, my sim is so, just so not in it today. I feel the needs all the households. Uh, Grace is the only show that re rel wait relieves my anxiety after work. Really, I feel like that show would cause major anxiety for me if I was like in the medical field because I'm like they're doing it all wrong. But then again, they're not. Because like, what's so cool about the show is that they have medical medical professionals like doing like the surgery. Like their hands are not their hands. It's like the surgery people surgeons and the people who say uh Boki the the nurse in that show is an actual like nurse IRL you need to restart Handmaid's Tale I left off of season two how many seasons does that have by the way Quinn do your homework please what about you Regan you're doing your homework Thanks financial aid for making it all possible honestly you know Financial aid is a great time. I love using financial aid. I would not be where I am today without that. <laughs> oh, I've really been into K dramas lately. Like right now, I'm watching some really good, some really good ones right now. That's what I'm watching at the moment. Mostly K dramas on Netflix. How to get away with rumor always cut a certain scenes when my parents would walk in the room. <laughs> uh, it does look really interesting, Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. I like the feeling of other people under, uh, I like the feeling that other people understand. Oh yeah. Also welcome in, uh, Meta, Meta Lay. I'm glad you like the house. I did a little renovation of it, of the original home that was here to fit my Sims needs. So they have everything they possibly need to live and thrive in this world of living in the Sims, which is my house. Oh, no, it's, it's all good. All good, Hobie. Uh, yeah, we are definitely mentioning a lot of shows today. Shonda Rhimes show. Sean, why does that name sound so familiar? Shonda Rhimes show. Oh, the, the showrunner of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, the only show I've ever seen from that person is Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and Private Practice. But the thing is, Private Practice got boring for me. I didn't really like it. It got boring. I stopped that season two. But are you care about paying attention? I'm the same way, but I am. I go back and rewatch them so I can get the full value. I like how they have uh, subtitles. Oh, Mate Matela, Matela. Hopefully, I said that right. <laughs> um. But thank you for the pronunciation. I appreciate it. It's the only way I get better at learning people's names and also English in general. Because my English is not great, even though my primary language is English. So I have, I have a hard time just English in general. Only k drama I saw was Crash Landing on You. That's a good one. She created Grey's How to Get With Murder and Scandal. I think out of all the shows she's ever made, Grey's and Maddie was the most successful one. I think so. 19 seasons and still going. Yeah. I said it right. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let me, sh let me tell you what K drama I'm watching right now on Netflix at the moment. On my Sim Paints. Um, let's see here. The K drama I'm watching right now on Netflix is, it's called like sci-fi. I don't even know. It's a weird name. It's a very weird spelling of a name. It's like this spelling. That's how it's spelled. That's how it's spelled. 
I have not seen Naomi yet, but I've seen some really, really cool things though on it. So my friends were like sponsored by the CW to promote the show, which is really, really cool. Um, but I haven't heard, I haven't heard anything about it yet, but I would assume it would be really cool. I usually don't correct people, but I'm trying to be more social, socially confident. Same, same. But I appreciate it though. And also thank you all for the hype train as well. I got a cool emote. I got Choo Choo Cool. It's like Choo Choo Soul. <laughs> um, but the other show on Netflix is a K-drama. I want to watch... I do want to watch Crash Landed on You. I also st uh, finished watching this one animated TV show on Netflix called um, Dogs in Space. I believe Tabby Co. recommended me to that show and it's really great. Um, another one I want to watch is K-drama is Our Beloved Summer. And maybe home, Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha. I don't know. There's just a lot of K-dramas I want to, I want to, I want to watch. And welcome back from your lurk, Car Car. Oh my goodness. My Sim has never painted this painting before in their life. Oh, Car Car recommended me to, to recommend it you to me well thanks i appreciate you stopping on in and hanging out with us today car guys comes are always sweet they respond to all of my youtube videos and instagrams and like i couldn't think of the other social media platform i have but they're always responsive and that means a lot uh you said our hometown cha 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 is really good from what i saw it looks really good. You've watched Naomi and you're intrigued. Isn't that like a, uh, isn't Naomi like a superhero? I think that's like some type of thunder or whatever. Don't snow me, but what is K-drama? Korean drama. It stands for K Korean drama. Let's just call it K-drama for short. That's a nice painting. A large realism painting. Flops, there you go. Uh, you haven't finished Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha. I've heard good things about it, but I feel like I should definitely give it a, a go. Dab isn't a very, is a, is a very amazing build, I agree. A lot, a lot of gossip about the actors in the dramas pop out on my Google page, though. It's like, please, I don't want to know. Exactly. I remember when Squid Game first came out, there were so many things on, like, TikTok and YouTube. I'm like, I don't need to know. However, I did watch Squid Game in one sitting when it came out. So guilty pleasure. I also did watch the Hype House reality TV show in one day. It's a fault. Also, Brian, thank you for the 101 or 100, 1,000, 1100 bits. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have not seen Dab's new build. I know that she was working on a uh, restaurant, I believe. But Dab, YouTube soon and when? Use your job bonus to buy a PC. I'm kidding. <laughs> YouTube channel now. This lumps, I know you wanna slump up on this lumps. What's going on today? You can't cause you're a chump. A chump. Hello? <laughs> Brian, thank you so much for the five community gift subs. Wowzies. Hello. He didn't have to do that, but thank you. But Bella, 47 Squirrel Polka, uh, Nimwem, Nim, Nimwen. Yes. And SBB95. I hope you enjoyed all the emotes here in the Spring Squad. We got 26 emotes to be exact. Enjoy them. Use them with pride. Uh, I don't know how you watch the Hype House show all in one day. I could barely handle one episode a day. The thing is, the Hype House show is not as dramatic as I thought it would be, even though they are all dramatic people. I think that it had a sense of realism, which is a whole point of reality show. But it was, like, not really as, like, what I expected, you know? I, w I was expecting, you know, fights, drama, all the gossip. Even though it was, like, some drama and some gossip, it wasn't extreme. And that's, like what I look for in reality shows when there's not too much drama. Oh, from yesterday? Oh, okay, then I'll have to see it then. 
The colonial one? I haven't built a colonial house in forever. Regan, stop complaining. If you want, they complain they're uncomfortable. Well, eat some food. I haven't built a colonial house in a very, very long time. Also, the fact that I have these lumps by LSP from Adventure Time is the most funniest thing ever. I have other, okay, so I have other, um, what's it called? Alerts for gifted subs at different amounts. And I think they're all Adventure Time themed, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of hilarious. Adventure Time is my vibe. I live for that show. I'm still waiting for like the next episode of like Adventure Time, The Distant Lands. They haven't uploaded one in a, in a while. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But yeah, like, you know, I'm just saying YouTube this year, maybe possibly, maybe so could be a thing. I'm just saying if you need some help, Dab, I'm here. <laughs> YouTube channel. Make video. My son says new me is not superior. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Then I'll definitely have to give that a, a show look see. It's a drama show. Naomi, a cool, confident comic book loving teenager, pursues her hidden destiny. When a supernatural event shakes her small town of Port O's we go. Okay. Naomi sets out to uncover its origins with a little help uh, from her fiercely loyal best friend, Annabelle. She also has the support of her adoptive doting parents who support, who have supported her, wait, doting parents, veteran military officer, Greg and Illigis, Jennifer. Interesting. After an account of Zumba do a mysterious owner who used of a used car lot leaves her shaken Naomi turns a tattoo owner, D, becomes her reluctant mentor. While unraveling the mystery of herself, Naomi also navigates her high school friendships of both military kids and local townies, including ex-boyfriend and high school jock Nathan, Annabelle's longtime lo loyal boyfriend Jacob, proud townie Anthony, a f and a fellow comic book enthusiast, Lords. As Naomi journeys to the heights of the multiverse in search of answers, what she discovers challenges her beliefs of about heroes. That's interesting, honestly. It's a really interesting vibe. I'm actually kind of keen about that. I haven't seen uh, Adventure Time in a long time. It's so good. It's on HBO Max. I mean, also on Cartoon Network too, but I think it's like a, one of the best things in the world. Elo's like Lady, uh, Lady Lump, like, l yeah, LSP is the most moodiest cloud thing I've ever seen in my entire life, but so funny. <laughs> Is that just hype dab day up or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make channel now. I would edit your videos app. Yes. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> let's, oh, let's get dab channel this year. Yes. We would subscribe. We will all subscribe. Won't we all, everybody? Wouldn't we subscribe to Dabney96 onto YouTube? <laughs> Honestly, I just say everyone should have a YouTube channel at this point. It's the year 2022. Make it so. Snag the name while you can. Oh, I need to age you up. That's why I had this cake made. Hearing townie made me think of you were talking about a sim LP until I googled Naomi. <laughs> it's like a townie named Anthony. A randomly generated townie named Anthony. <laughs> Imagine. There's room for everyone, exactly. You haven't uploaded in two months. I haven't uploaded in three or four days. <laughs> I need to upload more. However, I'm slow at editing. And however, I like editing, but I'm slow at it because I like to be precise of what I want to like edit out and stuff. And so personally, there might be a YouTube video this week. 
I want to get to the point where I'm uploading a, a video every other day is my thing. So I'm trying to pre-record as much as I can. Maybe I will. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I believe we're pregnant with, I think, a single baby or a twin. Let's see. Pregnancy. Okay, so we're having twins, which is great. So we're having twins today. We're still in our first trimester, but we'll be on STU. V, well, so we'll, we'll be on V and W next. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So we only need five babies left. So exciting times. Get a good PC and maybe I will. Mm, interesting. I'm going to delete you, but you age up on Monday. That sounds like a good idea. Honestly, we could find you a very good one now. <laughs> honestly, I'm very excited. Honestly, I think it would do great. I literally have three videos recorded from October that they're just sitting in the same folder. Mood. Mood. Oh, you still have to... I will still have to edit it. <laughs> It's like the, the whole thing is about editing videos is what is very time consuming. But then I also like the idea of like making the thumbnails and, you know, doing all this little fun stuff. I still have to make a bunch of thumbnails for my VOD channel so I can post the rest of the VODs. I'm still like a couple days behind though. Luckily nowadays on my VOD channel where I re-upload my streams, by the way, is I upload, a, I upload three videos a day on that channel so I can get back to the current times of the year 2022 but then we're all caught up I'll post one stream per day I'm just sitting there just planning all my content for me yeah basically mm -hmm. <laughs> write it down dab keep it keep it in in, in your books where, why are you running why are you running if you're scared don't go outside Oh my goodness gracious. This poor child. I forgot I canceled my Adobe subscription BRB. Gonna be broke. <laughs> I pay with my, ow. I pay up my Adobe subscription every year. I do it yearly instead of monthly because monthly is like, they've taken more money out of you if you do it monthly. I think I pay like 300 something for my Adobe, Adobe subscription. So. That's how much I pay, I think. But I mean, I have an editor who helps me edit my videos. So yeah, I mean, I could just send all my videos to, to my editor, which I should. But then I also miss the joys of editing. But technically, I edit half and then she edits half of the video as well. But if I want to get something out like that day, I'll like edit it myself. But yeah. So I want to be like a, a person who's like, recording every single day and like having backup a backup log of videos that's why i always suggest people to put video ideas in the discord so i have like video ideas because i can't think of anything else my brain is like fried of video ideas can't think of anything else to do i want to do the sims one on extreme mode where i just like make eight sims and then have it on speed three to see what happens because i think it'd be really fun I do it monthly because I have a school I have a school discount. Well, aren't you just lucky? School discount and all. I don't have that anymore. I don't have a school discount. I is sad. I is sad. Clean it up. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody do your share. I need to finish the clip compilation. It literally is half done and now I need to do that. Yes. I want to see it. I think we all need to see it because we have the old one and I feel like the, another one would be really great. Because like what I want to do eventually, because I know, I know that um, Kayla pays Dan to uh, help her edit the videos, which is really cool. I want to get to the point where I'm paying people <laughs> who helps me like, with my channel 
you know, with my YouTube. It'd be nice. But I'm not financially there yet. I need to find some more clips. Oh, we got, we got plenty. I think we have a couple clips from The Sims 1, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna leave it on speed three, honestly. Uh, in your honest opinion, would you prefer The Sims 5 or would you bring, wait, what? Would you prefer The Sims Sims 5 or what they want to bring into The Sims 5 theaters incorporate into The Sims 4? Sims 5 theaters, wait, what? Sims 5 theaters incorporate into The Sims 4. I think that like with, with me, I don't want The Sims 5 unless I officially am tired of The Sims 4, which in my eye, like in my mind, I'm not tired of The Sims 4, but to an extent I am tired of the game. I just want more new, fresh content that's not repeated and has a little extra, you know, oomph to it. So I feel like it's hard to describe because I don't even know anything about The Sims 5. That's what that's what's hard. Because I, I read somewhere, I know the Sims community made an article, I think it was either today or yesterday, where they were hiring somebody at EA to make, um, were hiring a storyboard artist to, into like the new generations of The Sims, which is like The Sims 5, basically. And I think that in my eyes, I want to have what Sims 5 is like getting, like, professionally done like with all the careers that are being added to the EA for the Sims I want all those like cool features in the Sims 4 like I want to have like more storytelling into the game where it's like actual consequences like it's not like a one-off story but like a continuation of a story with more like depth more gameplay depth more family gameplay is like what I really need in my humble opinion I need more family gameplay more depth to the Sims that they become self-aware half of the time of like their surroundings and there's actual consequences or, you know, even like benefits to it that make it more challenging for the player. But I don't know. I would like, a, yeah, I would prefer a refresh of like the Sims 4 of like packs, which is like what they're doing nowadays. And like, honestly, I understand though, like they're a company and everything. And of course, like they have different teams for different things that they do. Like they have a team, a dedicated team for like Sims Mobile and Sims Replay and The Sims 4 and like the console team too. And so like, there's a lot of people who work at EA for like multiple things, but I think that, I don't know. I just need more. Changing the way the game plays is more consequences like what the sims 2 basically had in the sims 4. that's how i went i would be sad i would be really sad because like as you all know i talk about the sims 2 all the time I love The Sims 1, but that's too much challenge right there. I can't handle that challenge. Sims 2 is like where you do something, there's a consequence to it. It may not happen at that moment, but it happens over time. Like, let's say, for example, you are engaged to somebody in The Sims 2 or like just in The Sims in general, and you cheat on them multiple times without them realizing. And then you get divorced after like a couple of days. That relationship can be tanked very bad, like not now, but like in the future, like future consequences that will lead very bad consequences for your sim, whether career wise, relationship wise, financially wise, it just depends on like what you're like doing. And I think nowadays we, we kind of sort of have that with the sentiments and um, lifestyles where you do something, you get a sentiment for it. And it's kind of nice that we have that. It shows like consequence to an extent. You need to go feed your fur babies BRB. All good, all good. I'll be here trying to have kids. In The Sims 3, there's really consequences like criminal career you can make 
can make Sims go to jail and the Sims 4 doesn't happen. That's what I really want. I would love for them to refresh, um, get to work so we can arrest Sims for doing like the most crazy obscure things of all time. Everyone can go to bed. Everyone just sleep, sleep, sleep. You want curtains that actually fit the windows? Yes. It's like I'm trying to compile a list of like videos or not videos, but like I uh, compile a list of things that I want to say in one video of like what I want in The Sims 4, basically, type of video is what I want to do. And I think that one day it'll happen, but I just don't know when that will happen. And I think it's important to like say things that are on your mind. Be like said. Everyone go to sleep. Why are you not in bed? Go to bed. Sleep. And The Sims 2 and 3, the entire town talked about you if you did something bad. Yeah. It's like, did you hear so-and-so that slept with somebody else? You know? It's crazy. <laughs> but I loved it either way. I was the sole reason that that happened. They got divorced the next day. No, I'm playing Sims and ask Sims to propose them. And, and I could say no. Yes, I would love that. I would love that. That would bring me so much joy. It really would be. Imagine if like your Sims, um, I mean, I think also too, with them adding in story progression to the game, I think we're going to eventually get that at one point, you know, story progression is a thing now in the game. Then so I like the chance we might get it. However, I would never in a million years want multiplayer. I don't want multiplayer in the Sims. It's never been a multiplayer game. I don't think they should start now. Uh, only don't, only don't for the Sims 4 or the Sims 5 for EA to make it, get the payment ship to order to play the new game. Oh yeah. I don't think they would. I don't think with the Sims over the past 22, almost 22 years, I think now the Sims specifically, I don't think they would ever do that. Would have people to like have to pay to play the game, you know, like if you want something like in the game, you got to buy it with like, you know, real money, but I don't think they'll ever do that. I mean, with kits and stuff, a filler content or whatever. I think that, um, cause I think with some EA games, like I think with, um, Apex and like some other stuff, like in game currency, they get to buy it with real money to get like in game content to get more things in your game, you know? And garlic thank you for the host welcome to the post who are you talking to Cele celebrate we're talking about celebrate celebrate what celebrate what i don't know what this is celebrating but they must be celebrating something it is not my birthday imagine you could buy some millions worth of money that would would be a joke that would just be the most thing, the most craziest thing they could ever do. I'm like, why? I had some, some randomly call and text me some confessing their love to them. Oh, it's like, I love you. I'm like, oh, hmm. Why is my own child texting me saying, hey, Kayla, can I join? You're not my father. No, I can accept or deny the request. Bye. By the way, who guess whose birthday is on Sunday? Is it your birthday on Sunday? Is it? Is it Hobie Dino's birthday on Sunday? I can't see the curtains. I just want the blinds and the Sims 3. I want the blinds. I want to put them up and down, you know? Usually this happens when my Sim is literally married too. It happens to me too. My Sims will get calls and texts and saying, you want to hang out? It's like, no, I know where this is going. I don't want to hang out with you. I'm done. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Can we get some happy early birthdays in the chat, please? And thank you for Hobie Dino because her birthday's on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, You got any plans for your birthday in particular you want to do? <laughs> happy early birthday to you. How much is it selling for? 2,000 simoleons, that's lame. In most games, you have to buy a uh, gift card Bitcoin money 
to buy things in virtual game. Yeah, Fortnite. Fortnite is one of them. I stopped buying V-Bucks so long ago because I'm like, I don't play this game as often to really buy that type of stuff anymore. I'm going to sell my, my, not my game, but my, uh, homework. Well, my parents are throwing me a surprise party, but one of my friends is really bad at keeping secrets and told me. It's like, don't act surprised. But like your parents are throwing you a surprise party. Um, uh, bad. Thank you so much. Uh, bad as welcome in. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Hope all things are good. Welcome in. Welcome in. So I have to act surprised. Got to get that. You know, you got to get that Grammy at some point. And then the award goes to the most surprised look of all time. Hobie Dino. For a birthday surprise look. <laughs> but how was your stream today? What did you all do? I want to hear all about it. If you're popping in from the raid. We are playing The Sims 4. We are currently playing the Mix Match Legacy Challenge, by the way. And at this current moment, we are going to give birth at some point in the future. Like 14 hours in the game. So I'm trying to speed up time. So we can give birth soon. Yeah, welcome, welcome in. Why did I say my parents? My parents literally live 100 miles away. It's my friends. <laughs> you know, true. What if your parents flew in for your birthday and saying, surprise, haha, -ha, we're here. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> your parents just walk in like, hi, happy birthday. Imagine the possibilities. Hilarious. Uh, and the Sims to the kids react when the parents are fighting and or cheat on each other and the teens can run away. Exactly. Especially when it comes to um no, I don't want to join your career. Especially when it comes to the fact that if your kids are coming home from school and the parents are home, they'll run to their parent saying, like, well, if they get an A on the report card, they'll run to their parents to show what they got. But then also another thing too, if the kid's at home and the parent comes home from work, the kid will stop what they're doing, run to their parent and give them a hug saying that they miss them. See, now that will be a surprise. It would be. They'll appear saying, surprise, we're here. Imagine that was just your gift. Your parents just showing up and that was it. That's all you got. It's like, surprise, surprise. We made all the way from... I don't know where, but you know, <laughs> my Sims peed themselves. That's not great. I need to start thinking about how these kids are going to survive life. I have five kids. Oh, wait, five, six. I only have room for two. Hmm. Does everyone have go to sleep? Everyone go to sleep so we can speed through the day. And then we can kind of get a move along with your skills to pay the bills to get kicked out of my house because you don't belong here no more. You're playing The Sims 3 now? Ooh, woo. What are you doing in The Sims 3 today? Anything in particular that you're doing in the game? A legacy family? A challenge? A building? I actually, in my Sims 3 Let's Play, I put in a community college that I got from the from my Sim Realty. And so my sim, Alex Lankhart, or Alex O'Neill Lankhart, is going to university in Sunset Valley. The cow plant do be hungry. What if you starve them? You must knock yourself. Don't do that. I said, oh, what if the cow plant dies and then it died? Oh my gosh. Uh, a werewolf, uh, a werewolf and a witch is married. And I tried, I tried to get them a kid. But I don't know if it works. I think it does work. I think you can have kids, um, that way. Um, um, I think you can, ha you can have hybrid Sims, but I forget how you do it though. It's a thing. <laughs> My cow plant died. Well, 
They'll bloom at some point eventually. It's, again, who knows when that will be planted. I don't know. Back in the ground. Rip. Ripperoni. Nothing tying me down from the single and loving it lifestyle and conflicting with a conflicting trait. Madam, you're fine. You're fine. When your cow plants die, revive them by cheating. That's what I do. That's what I do. Ooh, ready evolve. Yeah. Yee, yeah. moisture. Wet. Um, gross seats. Sprinted. I think I need to actually move this for it to reset. And this is why I don't have cow plants in my world. Because they always end up dying and leaving me. I feel sad. They always leave me when I need them the most. Planted. Do you ever get that feeling like you feel like a plastic bag? Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Because I do. Uh, blooming. Wait, what? What? Not my thing. Not my cow plant not wanting to, like, revive itself and wanting to thrive. I'm going to have to delete the cow plant now. Oh, you cost 24 simoleons. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, cow plant. See you next time. I'm going to eventually get another one. I think it'll be really great to get the cow plant. Or the piranha pool. I don't know. I either want to get the piranha pool or the cow plant for Gen 3. Because eventually we're going to have to kill one Sim in order to have another kid in the asylum at one point. I always make sculptures out of the skeleton ones. Ooh, that is smart. I should have kept the cow plant because I could have added that to our grave when we die. I could have kept it. We have 19 days left until we're an elder. Oh my gosh. That's a smart idea. Might as well go back and collect some more while we can. While we're still young and youthful. Why is my... Why are you wearing this outfit? Put on a shirt, child. Put on thy shirt. My sims are always having conflict resolutions of life. They never know how to grow. <laughs> Let's see. I have level 7 fit. I have level 7 fitness? Why did I think I had level 10 in fitness? You can go work out. Even though you you are in your third trimester, the fact that my sim could still... Oh, no, she can't. I was like, my sim can work out in her third trimester? That sounds brutal. It'd be crazy. But, besties, we've got a thing we can do today. And it's called... Enter the raffle to name this lovely baby. It is time to give birth today. To our offsprings, our two offsprings of today's stream. We're gonna be on letter V, no, S T U V. So V and W is what we're gonna be on next. So type in the word baby in the chat to enter into the raffle to win a chance to name this lovely baby or babies. So, possibilities could be endless. You use the freeze ray on Eliza Pancakes, as one should. Eliza Pancakes is scary. She's mean. She's very mean to Bob Pancakes, and that makes me very sad. What did Bob do to deserve this? Bob Pancakes did nothing wrong. He was just there trying to exist and live his life, you know? But uh, no, not a nothing. Good answer. Very good. Freezing the Eliza of the pancakes. I electrocuted Eliza pancakes with Bob pancakes 
because he eventually got lightning powers by Thor. And it was like, powers? Electrocute Eliza Pancakes. I literally have a tweet that I made today about that. Because I was like, why not? Seems reasonable. Seems appropriate. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, where is it at? I need to find the tweet because I want to show you what I made. Let's see. Twitter? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Here's the tweet. I found it. This is a tweet that I made. Bob Pancakes has Thor's power. The series. His pa he has powers. Something happened to Eliza. She got burnt. The end. What a great series, honestly. One of the best series I've ever made in my entire life. I should do it again. Um, <laughs> a nice little comic strip. Seems perfect enough. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna pick the winner. Do, 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 do. The winner winner chicken dinner is... Hobie Dino. Can we get some rigs in the chat? Everybody rigged in the chat because when it's rigged, when a mod wins, it's automatically rigged. 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 Rigby. Rigster. Rig Snightster. Rigged. What about me? So I need, so S T U. I need a V name. I need a V, a letter V. Rigged, I don't think so. No, no, no. No, rigged. 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 I need to also, speaking of Rig B, I need to watch um the regular show. I don't think I even entered, but rigged for sure. <laughs> rigged for sure. When mods win, it's just rigged. It's like they hold the power of the of the channel, you know. What? Valent Valentino White Bag Valentino White Bag Barry? What in tarnation? What is that name? Is that supposed to be like Vanna White? I don't think I can fit all that in. Oh, I can. Valentino. Oh, I can't. You'll know, you know, like the vine. Valentino white bag. I don't think I've seen that vine one. I don't think I've seen that one. I can't fit it in. Oh no. I can't fit the E. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway, so S T U V W. Okay, picking the next winner, besties. Next winner. No, are you kidding me? What? My dad and I watched the regular show together when it was still new. It's such a great show. Have you seen the movie? How in the world is a w mods are winning today? Rude. Rigged. 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 Double rigged. Double rigged. I cannot believe this. I need a W name, by the way, Dab. W. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. SMH my head. Yeah, there was a movie, the regular show, the movie. It was interesting. It was Mordecai and Rigby. I think the other guy was saying Muscle Man, and it says, My mom. I'm like, okay, I guess. <sighs> interesting it's like okay wally wally berry with a dash muscle man mordecai rigby flip no skip it was skip mordecai rigby muscle man high five ghost pops Benson. I couldn't think of the other, I couldn't think of the all the names. Benson, Mordecai, Rigby, Pops, 
Muscle man high five go skips. I demand a recount. I remember his view of Starla. Yes, Starla. And there was um uh what's what's her name? Uh Margaret. Hey Margaret. Hey Mordecai. Hey Rick Beam. <laughs> Wally. Okay, so we have two new babies. Valentina Whitebag Barry. That's oh my gosh. Wally Barry. But I think they're just regular babies, so we're gonna count them as just like regular babies. So that means we're at 23 out of 26 babies in a grand total. Wow, Z's. Well, good thing for us, today's Monday. So that means we can have another baby today. Quinn's gonna age up today into a lovely, oh no, they're not. No, they're not. R no. No, I never worked on anybody's. Well, maybe. There's a likely chance one of the kids can move out today is what I'm thinking. See, Quinn was going to move out today. Because they have a B in school. And I'm like, but the skills are not there. And that's a lot for my gen, honestly, though. Share the answers. Oh, no, not the loss. I have not named a kid, a child once. I think I'm so happy. Interesting. Mm -mm. The last of many, I would say the last of many. Will you win again? I don't know. Not my children being hungry. Where are you? Go feed your children, please. They're crying. Uh, my name is uh, Rigsby. I keep thinking you guys are talking about me. <laughs> No, no, no. We're talking about the show, the regular show. Oh, our bills. Oh gosh, we're so, we're so like not there in the funds. <laughs> Feed your other child, madam. Your other child is screaming. Feed the child. Thank you. Think wisely, I can keep flip. <laughs> you can keep them if you want to. Let them go if you would like to. I do enjoy the hunt. <laughs> Alrighty, anyway. Um, alrighty, so our family tree is a growing and a showing. We have a lot of kids. Like a lot of kids. We have like several vampire children. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I think we're gonna have our first kid to die soon. Corey Calvin Kamala Berry is an elder. Oh no, they're an elder. And then who else? Where's the A? A. A, wait, where are you at? Letter number A, letter number. They got pregnant, yay! Let me know how that goes. What, you know, the whole thing, simulation, how that plays out. Cause I'm like, I've always wanted to like kind of combine two um, life stages or like two occults into one. Allison Berry might be an adult, close to an eldership. Brittany Baby Berry might be it in elder i'm pretty sure i can actually see for myself let's see here my children you are you're an adult but how is corey calvin an elder there's just no way how is okay how is corey an elder but britney is a Oh, I think because corey moved out first before britney and also Allison, wherever you are, here you are. Yeah, I think they, I think Corey Kevin moved out first and then the other two moved, moved out second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. But Brittany also had kids, true. Brittany Baby Berry had, had kids, which is great in their eldership. Brittany had two kids. Their names is Jacqueline Berry and Felix Berry. Love that for us. 
They had a kid with Coleman Eli. Wait a minute. Somebody was hanging out with you earlier. But yeah, they have two kids. Two kids with the same person, which is great. Their parents were Pierce Delgado and Zoe Battelle, which is very interesting. Pierce Delgado and Zoe Battelle had a kid named Coleman. Zoe Battelle had, got married to somebody else. And I have no idea who. Abel Delgado, Drake Delgado, Olive Berry. Interesting. Kamala Delgado, I have no idea who that is. That's a random townie generated sim. Interesting. So what happened if the if your sim dies before this 26 babies? Um We just move on to the next gen of like the next kid in this household will continue to have the the rest of the kids. But that's not going to happen, though, because we're currently still an adult and we have 19 days left until we age up. So we have quite some time left to get pregnant again. And we already have one lined up technically to have a kid with. And it's that alien sim that we saw earlier. And if we have a kid with an alien, we count those kids as two kids. Well, if we have twins, that's like four. And we only need three left. So let's actually invite over this alien sim. Get to know Irving a little bit better romantically. Boost our relationship up a little bit more. And then possibly, maybe so, we have a chance. A slight chance to get in good graces. To have a kid with them. Who died? Pekin? What? Why? No. We're at school. We don't call people at school. Club members are notified and will be on their way. Irving, Irving, do you want to have a baby? This house is too big. I can't. Anyway, at least we get all the things we got. We need to be done. None of them. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is great. We can have another baby right now. You know what? You know, Salem. Would you like to age up today? Would you like to age up? Who ate my cake? Someone's getting deleted today. You know what? Make your own cake. You deserve it. Today is your last day in this household and we no longer need your presence. So stop being sad. Right. <laughs> At least, you know, one kid can age up and get out of my house. That leaves room for a chance of twins or like an alien baby. 50-50 chance of having an alien baby. And then that's, that's going to be some good stuff for us. I'm very excited, honestly. Now, Quinn. Quinn for Bray. Sleeping is for the weak. Calm down. Stop sleeping. You need my good friend to work on your fitness skills. I'm going to have you... Actually, no, you can read the vampire lore book. That goes faster. I've learned that. The vampire lore book goes way faster than any other skill. In this game. Because they're easy to read. Make your own cake and get out. It's their parting gift. It's like, make your own cake and get out of my house. <laughs> it's your time to go. <laughs> you need to leave. Child, why are you crying? Okay. Okay. Ooh, we'll sell all of our stuff from Flopsy. I have to say, Flopsy is a absolute gem. Do not eat this cake or you will be deleted. At birth, nope. At birthday candles over here, please and thank you. That'd be really nice. And the agent can get out of my house. My AirPods are dying, so I'm gonna head out. But thanks, I, can I made it today. You're welcome, Psych Major. Thank you for being here. And hanging out with us. I will see you hopefully next time. Go blow out your candles and get out. Let's see you later. But like how? She have time to shower? Honestly, you have no idea. Well, she was in the shower. Woohooing. There's a lot of commotion happening over here. There's a lot of commotion. Random sim eating baked Alaska. Our sim ate them to an adult getting out of my house. We have an alien. We have this guy. 
Too much is going on. Did I have a kid with you? Jovan Bunch? No. You? No. You? Not yet. Oh man, times like this, you ask yourself, what in tarnations is going on? Ooh, to the will. <laughs> it's like he, he's like, don't blow them out. It's a trap. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. Don't blow out the candles. Or you'll get kicked out. Well, bye. And just like that, he was dropped. Drop kicked and goodbye. Now add birthday candles, please. Please. Thank you. Also, uh, Sables, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. That guy looks really, looks so happy. Honestly, he's happy to leave. It's like, finally, I'm free. I can get out of this crazy place I call home. She's already at level two of the Vampire Laura book. Well, that's nice. I'm still gonna have her do her homework though, so we can work on that. You're not tense, you're fine. I'm gonna have you read the Vampire Lore books again. Apparently I bought three copies of level of volume one, so I'm gonna purchase. No, I can't. I'm gonna just continue reading level one. You're doing good, how are you? I'm doing really good today. I've been working on this lovely challenge called the Mix Match Legacy Challenge, and it's been absolutely wonderful. We're almost done with this challenge, by the way. We're on Gen 2 at the moment, and we're kind of th we're three kids away before we end off and go to Gen 3, which is the Asylum Challenge. But also, girl, go far. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope your day is going pretty well and swell. And this fine evening. <laughs> you love my hat? Thank you. I think it's it's very important to keep your head warm and not chill, you know, you know what I mean? Beanies are good when you don't want to comb or brush your hair or wash your hair, you just wear a beanie or a hat. <laughs> and that's what I did today. I didn't want to comb my hair, so I wore a hat instead. Also, I posted something recently. So I make animated gifts a lot just for like random fun. Did you just age up into an elder in front of my eyes? Okay. Um, but yeah, I make animated gifts just for, for the fun of it, for like Instagram stories and stuff. And let me just tell you, this was like before New Year's. This was before New Year's. I want to show you. Gifify is a website where you can upload animated gifts. And when you upload this on here, anyone can use these like on their Instagram stories, Snapchat stories, anything that has a story they can use it on. Now, I made an account so long ago. And I uploaded this two days before New Year's. Two days before New Year's Day. And has 6.4 million views. That's wild. That's wild to think about that. And this is a simple countdown. Three, two, one. Make it make sense. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, it's important to wear a hat if you don't want to, uh, you know comb your hair or when in doubt cut the hair cut the hair out yeah that's what I did I just wanted to show off something that I was really proud of and I thought it was really cool I have a bunch of gifts that I've made and personally they do really well and I think I'm gonna make some more I thought I just fed you child move away from the baby move away from the baby please the baby doesn't want to talk to you I also think I might make spaghetti tonight for dinner with some corn, maybe. And then probably watch, I don't know. I might watch something on Netflix. I forget. Babe, I'm coming. You get away from the, you know what? You know what you can do? You know what you can do, child. You know what you can do. Do your homework away from the baby. That will be really lovely, like really great. Don't touch the child. Actually, you know what? You're a teen. You go tend to the child instead of me. You need a beanie in your life. I have so many beanies. I have this one. 
someone that someone knitted me a, uh, a beanie one time and sent it to me. I love it by the way. And then I have a Twitch pride one and I think I have another one, but I don't wear it cause it doesn't fit my head, my big giant head. Welcome back. Welcome back, Liz. And just in time too. We were kind of getting all of all of our kids needs and skills up before kind of wrapping up for today for the stream. I thought I just fed you. I swear these kids just want everything. They just suck the life out of you. Wally may be a robot, but Wally sure is needy. I'm going to watch Renesame on, on uh, HBO Max when, I, when the stream ends, starring Hugh Jackman. I've heard good things about that show. Or is it a movie? I forget. Johnny Zest. I almost said, I almost read that as Johnny Test, which I don't know why they made another animated show of Johnny Test. They could have left the original one alone. Johnny Zest is really getting, is getting me mad. He keeps pranking our toilets. Delete him. Delete him. <laughs> He died so long ago in my game, so he's just gone. And I'm okay with that. He's just gone. Out deceased. <laughs> he's just eh, nope. Everyone has done nope. Please do your homework. Please do your homework. Please do your homework. My orange pepper. You made orange pepper and lemon coli salmon with uh, lentils. Ooh, that sounds delicioso. It sounds so good. So good. So good for the soul. Okay. I need to, I really need Quinn to move out today. So Quinn. Okay, what is, what's that last skill you need to do? Vampire lore book. Okay, so you need to purchase still level one. Oh, okay. Well, continue to read level one still. And you'll be fine. But your plan for dinner sounds delicious. Well, thank you. I, I really need to get rid of all my spaghetti. I bought organic spaghetti and it was really great. I got it from Aldi's. I love a good Aldi's moment. Read the book. Keep reading. So yeah, maybe spaghetti, some corn. I don't know what else I want. I'm not sure. I just had cereal and milk. It was very good, Rish smile. Very good. I've never had cereal with milk because I'm lactose intolerant. Ha ha ha. But I hope it was, I'm glad it was great though. <laughs> I made that tweet during stream. And honestly, I was waiting for somebody to react to all that. And it was, the responses are very funny. Yeah. I've never had milk. I eat my cereal dry. But also, hi, little Dicka. How are you? I made a old handy dandy tomato soup and grilled cheese. Ooh, that sounds really good. Sounds kind of tasty. I've never had grilled cheese before. Did you just pee yourself? Ma'am, go take a shower. You're smelly. So I've, okay. My, my mom, <laughs> when I was younger though, says you should try soy milk so I tried it I hated it I didn't like it <laughs> and I'm glad you're doing very good but also thank you again for the bits thank you thank you I'm slowly losing my sanity from all these kids but I'm fine you're lactose intolerant too but I still eat cheese from time to time pain when I was a kid I would have a bowl of cereal and then I would have a have some dry cereal on the side Interesting. You don't like soy milk, but I like oat milk. I've never tried oat milk. No. I don't know. I guess I just am just so a stickler of like milk in general. When it says milk, I don't trust it. Like I don't really have like any bad reactions to milk, really. It's just more so my throat gets very itchy and I can hardly talk as much. So I avoid it at all costs. You're lacto, you're, I'm lactose sensitive, but I can't give up my dairy delights. Okay. Well, don't come crying to me when something happens. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You like almond milk? I've seen almond milk, but I can't have almonds. I like oatmeal. I love oatmeal. I like the taste of milk, except straight, uh, except straight dairy or chocolate. Has it been dead against all milks? Yes. Milk is evil. Was an extra, was a capital E. When I was a kid, I used to only uh, eat whole milk at home. It was bad. And I would always go to the school and have a huge pain in my, in my tummy. And that's what I had when I was younger too. When I would eat anything dairy related, I'm like, my stomach hurts badly. Like not in a great way. And I'm just like, mm, I'm going to need to not eat this anymore. I'm more of a, like a, I'm like allergic to it, I would say. Eh. Good, good. For the longest time, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat eggs. Like, I think when I was younger, I didn't eat eggs at all. Because I was so like sensitive to like the whole dairy thing and I never ate it for a long time until like recently like when I was like maybe 10 and I can't stop eating them uh five minutes could be a good time I feel like everyone eventually becomes sensitive to dairy yeah and they can't give it up because it's like it's their pride and joy like I can't give up licorice I will not give up my twizz my Twizzlers. They're so good. I feel like this is a very South American thing to just straight up drink a whole milk in every meal. Maybe. I don't know. It, I guess it depends on the person. In conclusion, dairy is Two-Face. <laughs> Turn on any second. True. I don't want to give up my cheese. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. <laughs> Maybe you could try it for one day and see what what would happen. Uh, if my if my five kids are lactose intolerant or lactose sensitive, we go through a lot of soy milk, like two gallons a week. Two gallons a week. Oh my child, stop crying. Uh, <laughs> can't. Milk got me like, um, where's the bathroom? <laughs> I literally found it, found it at uh, a Wegmans randomly and then bought it because Kayla tried it on stream. <laughs> That's funny. Y'all going to school today? Mm -hmm. Are you? You can't give it up. Have you gone a whole day without it one time though? Roguebit, welcome in. How are you doing today? I'm talking about how people should give up milk and cheese for one day. <laughs> but I'm doing really good today. I'm trying to have some babies in this game. Some babies. But I'll also kick out all of my kids because they're annoying. Uh, is this a late stream? I thought I missed it. No, I've been streaming since... I've been streaming for about three hours. We're almost ending though. Avocados. I've never had avocados before. I find them kind of icky. For me, I have to have something like mixed in with it. If I'll, I'll then I'll eat it. But by itself, no. Mm -mm. I'm that kid who's like tricked me by putting it in like mixing it together and then I'll eat it. I have gone one day without cheese. How did that make you feel? You can't with milk, it bullies my tummy. Oh no. Uh, as in at least one gram. So that's fine. You know, that's good. Except for help. Yes. A babe is gonna age up today. You felt horrible. I feel you on that. I'm never really good with like anything dairy. It's just not good for my soul. Very, I saw Katie Hearn wearing army pants and flip-flops. So I bought army pants and flip-flops energy for me. Oh my gosh. If Kayla buys it, we all buy it. You know, I bought I bought this lovely thing because um, Ariana Grande purchased it herself. She buys it all the time. 
It's called Gluthers Pastels. It's like cough drops, but it's like fruit juice and uh, glycerin for your throat and voice. Handmade in Sweden. I bought two of them. They're all gone. I'm going to buy more because if Ariana Grande says she likes them, I will buy them. Because <laughs> Ariana Grande's voice is a legit angel. So I know exactly which ones you're talking about. Yep. Gluthers Pastels. The one is like black currant, black currant sugar free. Ever see white chicks when they eat, uh, wait, and didn't know it was cheese. Oh yes. I want to watch that movie again. White, white chicks. Cause I think it's funny. Gluthers Pastels. They're not cheap by the way um well no they're, they're they're no they are affordable the ones that i got they're worth like 13 dollars yeah these are the ones that i have we should all like donuts <laughs> so you're telling me those will make me sound like iron guard day yeah 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 do it <gasps> buy them buy them um these are the ones that I got, the sugar-free ones. They're like $13, $14 technically, USD. It says, soothes throat, helps hoarse voice, convex dry mouth, soothes strained vocal cords due to over usage. Mine all the time. I'm going to buy them again because like, oh, wowzers. I used to not like avocado seeds, an awful experience, but now I got I got over it and I like them now. Very good. Here's a link in chat if you want them. Okay, besties, I'm gonna try. Oat nog, wish me luck. Oat nog? Is it like eggnog but with oats? Interesting. Which ones did I get? What? How many ounces did I get? I'm gonna buy them on stream. I don't know which ones I got. I can't. Oh. Three and okay, it's a three point seven five. Okay, buying them and the cart. Ariana Grande is an icon, a legend. In a moment, yes. Honestly, top of the line, best of the best. I'm only spending twenty seven dollars and ninety ninety cents on this. Not that bad, honestly. I was watching Don't Look Up. It's a really good movie. I love Don't Look Up. It's hilarious and also serious at the same time. I recommend it. If you want to give it a little look, see a little ganda, want to slay, it's worth it. Because honestly, if that song was a real song, which it is, it's hilarious. It's like, how can someone so angelic sing so beautifully saying, we're all going to die? I'm like, what? I just looked up, uh, I just looked at the ingredients. Oh. It has cashews in it, apparently. Oh. Hmm. It's like, you're about to die soon, everybody. It's like, you're about to die soon, everybody. It's a really good song. She can literally sing anything and I'll believe her. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I guess we're about to die. I guess I should look up. You're about to die soon, everybody. Ooh, oh, oh, hey. Look up. Here he comes. Oh, hey. And I'm so glad I'm here with you forever. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I clicked my sim, who was a major, because I, I wasn't paying attention. She was going to age him to an elder. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. It was like, click, click, hoo, ha, ha. Wrong sim. Okay, going back. <laughs> um. Anyway. Luckily, I saved my game way before. So, yeah. 
You're giving me a, a Mar Mar Mariah Carey vibes. See, the thing is, I can sing very high is the thing. I can't, I can sing my falsetto, but I can't do no whistle notes is the thing. Caitlin, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spring Squad. Uh, my mom makes homemade eggnog every year and she'll refuse a milk jug. So you have to be careful when you take out the milk in our house. Uh -huh. It's Monday. Oh my gosh, y'all look at the school. <laughs> Not the skills being sad. I gotta do it all over again. Uh, why, uh, Arnie River? <laughs> Maybe it's time to go to bed. Maybe it is time. Maybe this time. I'll be lucky. Maybe this time he'll stay. Anyway, <laughs> I think we definitely can continue this next time for sure. Because I'm not going through that pain again. Um, I think we can call it here and do the clip of the day, besties. I think so. Honestly, it will be really good. Anyway, one time I accidentally put eggnog in my cereal. And this year my mom was making omelets Christmas, making omelet Christmas morning. And she actually put eggnog in her omelet. Oh, instead of milk. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I looked at something wildly crazy. My bank account. Um, your stream was recommended and I'm so glad you seem nice. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Where's my tab? Um, I really, really appreciate that. We were actually just ending the stream, but on a good note though, because we are going to do the clip of the day. And besties, I stream every single day. Now, Caitlin, since you are new, I stream every single day at 6 p.m. Central Time. But on Wednesdays, I stream at 10 a.m. Central Time to kind of give you the schedule of like what I do every day and what time I stream. I also post the schedule of what we're doing each day in our Discord channel. Um, I also, by the way, I don't stream on Sundays. Those are like my off days. I love when you go. Oh, wait. I love when you go to to a recommended stream and you find a gem like Spring Sims. <laughs> I'm here all week. Literally. <laughs> I'm here all the time. Um, but besties, let's see what we got here with the clip of the day. This one is from our Animal Crossing adventures of when I was trying to hunt for Marshall and Biddy showed up twice. Back to back. And I wanted to cry that day. But this isn't a bad. That's good. I don't know. Eggnog is just like, mm, I can't handle it. Eggnog is eggnog. But anyway, besties, a clip of the day is this. No way. This was the previous island. Get away from me. You're, get no, no, <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone, you, no. Get away from, I just said no. I felt so upset that day. You know, some fan behavior. Fan behavior. Showing up twice. Look at this. In one go, back to back. Rude. Do you see this? Look at that. Two biddies in a row. Absolutely wild. No way. Absolutely. The buffoonery that Biddy pulled, that's some fan behavior right there. Thinking like, I want to show up joy. He's like, mew, mew, mew. like, take me, take me. No, no, I don't think so. Like, uh, I don't think so. I'm not taking you to my island. You must be out of your licking mind. I'm not taking you. Mew, mew. It's like, wait for me. It's like, I'm going to come to your island. It's like, no, you're not. You're not coming to my island. I don't think so. You must be out of your mind. No. Mm -mm. This is the first time I've ever watched you. <laughs> it is? Oh, well, hey. I'm so zoomed in. Hmm. Making sure my child is still breathing. Anyway, putting out her fire. Gotta go. But don't worry, Liz. I'm always here. I'm here every single day. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing a new game that we've played before on stream. 
but they recently updated the game not too long ago. It's a game called Tenets, or I guess The Tenets, I would say, and it's so much fun. It's like The Sims, but you can become on your own landlord and renovate these apartments, earn money for it, and kind of get all these like cool things out of the way. But it's really, 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 really fun. And personally, I think it's really cool. So, you know. Anyway, besties, the quote of the day shall be, go away, you crazy jackalope. Not you all. The people in the game. AKA Biddy. I hate her. Just like Rocket. A crazy jackalope. Yep, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Sometimes the quotes are always against me or for me. You never really know what you're going to get. It's always the in-between. It's always the in-between. But besties, make sure you stay with the raid because we're going to do a bit of a raidy raid today. And my friend, and oh my gosh. 12. Oh my gosh, my friend Egg Babe is building in The Sims 4 right now, raising money for charity for the railroad or Rainbow Railroad, and Egg is wearing an egg costume, and I love that for us. So if you're into The Sims 4 and building and charity and chaos, Egg Babe is the one to go to. We've rated them before. They're very fantastic, very sweet, very kind individual people that you all will definitely love. They also build really great. Like, look at this. Look at that. Look at this build. Fantastic. That's Egg Babe, by the way. Love her. Love her. Great times. But anyway, besties, I will be live again tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, playing the tenants. But that being said, besties, I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Peace. Do, 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 do.